that doesn't spark joy. Oh, there it goes. Never mind. There it is. Hey. I was worried for a second. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, I realized my panic to set up. I didn't boot up YouTube Studio, so, you know, scuff. <laughs> but hey, what's up? Time to open the stream, but right? have it minimized in a different window. <laughs> Because we support the homies in here, but we don't cheat. <laughs> Who knows what I've got on that GM layer? Exactly. We don't cheat. So let me just separate that and minimize it. There we go. Oh god, I forgot about what happened last time. <laughs> I forgot. I'm not gonna lie. Until I saw the map and I was like, oh yeah, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the map kind of brings it all back, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, now I remember. <laughs> ah, yes. The squad has beef with each other. <laughs> that is true. Oh, snap. I forgot to take adequate notes. That's Probably really... fine. Food. So true, Bessie. I'm, like, juggling 50 things at once, one of them writing my own D&D campaign, so I get it. <laughs> yeah, no, I... It's it's a mood. It's a mood. Like, I mean, once I get moved, it's gonna make my life so much easier, because at least I won't have to worry about work for a little bit. Right? Once you're all set and, and whatnot. Yeah, and even then, I can switch to working part-time, since mm. it pays a lot more than Florida. Just can't make shit in Florida. Nope. Alright, so at the moment, just gotta wait for, uh, Aaron and Sir. Sir say on his way. Aaron might be asleep. Well, here's Sir. Hey. Yeah, hey. I mean, Aaron's still recovering from COVID, so he might be. Yeah, he asleep. might be out of commission. Yeah. I just, I just want to know one way or the other. Yeah. Might have to put uh, him in NPC mode. <laughs> Which is fine. How's it going, Sir? It's going. It's going. That's what I say. Yeah, it's, it seems to be the mood today. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to work tomorrow, so. Uh, yeah. Pain. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> like uh, I'm going to suffer today. <laughs> uh, we're, we were tomorrow. without AC yesterday. Oh, God. We, were at, we didn't have AC for a whole weekend oh, at my wow. job, and it was terrible. Oh, my God. God, I was surprised the guys in the kitchen weren't stroking out. I'm amazed. Yeah. I know. It's not healthy. Because I was about to stroke out. <laughs> and I'm just I'm just a to-go person. I don't have to stay at the kitchen. I was near it. It's waiting room music. Right? <laughs> it's waiting room music to accompany the fact that um, the squad is at, at, at odds right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you prefer the tense, inten super intense music right off the bat? <laughs> I, I'm cool either way, dude. Like I said, here physically, not so much mentally. That's fair. And right now is my nap time. <laughs> <laughs> this is your nap. Just a stressful game of D&D. &D. Mm -hmm. All right. You're snoring mid-session. <laughs> You're snoring mid-session. We, we know what happened. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and we'll jump in. Uh, if Aaron just needs to sleep, that's perfectly okay. So let me go ahead and actually change the music here. Is Raz here? I mean, Raz is in the call, but I don't know if he's here. Yeah, yeah, there he is. Right. Okay. Well, in that case... Last time... In the Eternal City, you all... Walked into a... Destroyed... Department of Archaeology. For an undercity tied to the Phoenix era, a period of time 2,000 years ago when a m mighty god emperor ruled over the city, before being buried 
along with everything he ruled. Exploring what appeared to be a factory, you descended your way through several levels, kicking open every single door you could possibly find, <laughs> uh, and doing everything you could to rob the place absolutely clean. Hey, don't make it sound bad. Uh, <laughs> you've got several crystals uh, filled with exhausted spells on you that you will identify and figure out how to recharge at another time before descending to the second level where you found <coughs> some form of experimentation chamber a massive sphere and the feared avatar of death that you'd been previously warned about try as it might to attack you from the shadows you manage to corner it pin it down and subdue it After Cohen had restrained it, you'd all check the final doors to find Astra, Regina's top assistant, attempting to hide while waiting for additional help. After seeing that you'd already had the Avatar restrained and in custody, Astra let you all know that this was the construct that had the core that you all needed to help Regina's little project. In a snap decision, in a snap decision, in the background, yeah, there's, there's Spider Man being played in the background. <laughs> uh, and a snap decision, Roll decided to finish off the avatar, the avatar itself failing to escape, and you taking the core and handing it over to Astra. Adia and Mara, being completely upset at the course of action you've taken, have started to storm off in the direction of the exit, and that's where we left off. So. The floor is yours. So, I'm going to look at Adia, oh, not Adia, but, uh, this purple-haired chick. Astra. Astra, there we go. Okay. So what? So, what's this little project, this... Person Regina's doing. I think we deserve to know that much, considering we did all the hard work and you hid underneath the shelf. Correct. I imagine Regina said she would tell you more if you completed this. Well, since you seem to be someone very close to her, I assume you know what she's up to as well. And we have a lot of uh, ground to cover, so I. Astra nods and starts walking towards the exit. Why don't we well, walk and talk? I walk with her. Okay. She stays mostly stoic, focused on the path ahead of her, keeping focused on every on the small corners of where you're all walking, keeping an eye out for anything unexpected. We so... received a contract. Oh, okay. From the Inquisition to build them a new construct. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> a new way to deal with a crime without <laughs> putting human lives at risk. Sounds like the police force is just getting lazy. And I think of her specifically. Wait, the wait, old, think of who specifically? The old bitch. Oh. Hmm. Perhaps. But the Inquisition are becoming fewer in number. <laughs> and the worst crimes are becoming more frequent. It's a, they feel it's important to have another way and combat the criminals lurking in the darkest shadows. <coughs> Or so I've been told. <sighs> this core will help us construct something new to help them. Hmm. Help them com help them combat criminals, or put the civilians in their place. One would hope it's to track down criminals. <laughs> the Inquisition isn't known for. There's a lot of, out of pettiness. There's Thanks. a lot of things that people don't know about the Inquisition. 
They put up a nice little front, but trust me, I know some things. I've seen some things of these so-called saviors of the people. Sounds Ooh. like you know more than most. <laughs> Honestly, I forgot exactly. Like, you've done... Okay, so... <clears throat> yeah. So this lady comes down here, basically tells us about the whole Avatar thing and all that good stuff. And so now we have the core of the Avatar? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> what do we want to do with this? is like, currently in possession of the core. So she wants she wants to use it. No, she wants to well, give it to. Uh, she wants to give it to Regina. To, to Regina. Regina. Okay. Job that uh, Aaron, not Aaron, uh, got hired for. We followed along with it. Well, let's go see this through then. Let's go. She wants to give the cord. Let's... <laughs> Give the core to a girlfriend and <laughs> you can hear Aaron just on the side just <laughs> groan in annoyance. Uh who has Luna by the way? I think Aaron said he had Luna. Okay. So he picked him up yeah. and walked right. out. Yeah. Aaron's just kind of got Luna Oh yeah, because yeah, because last week Aaron um picked up Luna and followed Adi and Mara. Ah uh, yes. So, I remember now. The only people that are still kind of walking alongside Astra are Cohen and Roll. Uh, right. The yes. other half of the party is not even in the building at this point. Eventually, go ahead and grab everybody and hit a nice copy. Oh, this is the library, the library, the laboratory place. Yep. You all have made your way back up to the entrance. Uh, at this point, you can hear the sound of conversation coming from the exit. Uh-oh. Uh, Adia and Mario, you're out standing outside of the archaeology department, a ways to the side. Uh, as you all come to the central chamber, or to the, the entryway, uh, it's still a mess. There's still papers scattered everywhere. Everything's still as toppled and a disaster as you left it. But there are now several officers taking notes, uh, talking to people. Uh, not entirely sure what's happening, but there is sure now a police presence here. I'm just walking out. All right. Make no eye contact. Don't don't act anymore. You know, just make, act natural and walking out. Act this natural. Walk out. You good? This has nothing to do with me. All right. Uh, one of one of the officers, a <coughs> short male officer, kind of slim in his build, looking a little bit like a stick. Uh, twink. <laughs> <laughs> clothes kind of scuffed up. Just walks up to all of you. Um, it, excuse me. Excuse me. Can can I, I have a word for a sec? Keep walking. So sorry. <laughs> you just so want to straight up ignore him. He's so short. <laughs> I didn't see him. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hi. I'm um. I'm sorry. I just need to ask you a couple questions. Uh. You. I. I've heard that you had an interaction with the uh, head of the office here. I don't answer questions, and I keep walking. I, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> kind of turns to you, Cohen. Please, sir, would you be willing? I don't know anything. What what went on? Nope. Looks to Adia and Aaron with like a a little bit of desperation in his eyes. Like, please. <laughs> he doesn't say anything. Just kind of looks at you with a pleading fashion and mouth kind of half open. <laughs> Adia kind of looks at him before, like, folding his arms, then walking outside. <laughs> <laughs> Am I under arrest? Nope. All right. See you. <laughs> the man just kind of looks back to the to the employee of the department, 
dude just kind of like raises an eyebrow with a confused look and just kind of shrugs at the officer <laughs> as you all start walking away. <laughs> Astra follows follows all of your leads and just continues walking. Uh, she took a second to survey the scene. And the, the same officer kind of was like, ma'am, would you please... Uh, why do I bother? <laughs> starts going in, just goes into this office right here and just starts taking like notes, taking photos, like trying to help figure things out. It's like, uh, you all keep walking. Yeah, of course. I would let me look at a. Uh, I keep wanting to call her Astra. Oh. It, her name is Astra. Oh, it's Astra. Oh, okay. yeah, it's Fuck. Astra. I don't know why I thought it was something else. I'm gonna look at it and be like, now I can see why you guys are Too many names. <laughs> well, what's interesting is, so on the stream, I see names. Oh, that's my, Astra's not. On my way. point of view, I don't, I don't see people's names. Really? Yeah. I see my name, but I don't see no one else's. I think you can hide them in the setting, so I might, you might have your names hidden. Yeah, because it's... Because I see everybody's names. I was gonna okay. say, the nameplate tag should be enabled. Dark mode, light mode. Hey. Character pop out window. That's not it. Like I, I can see everyone's life bars, but I don't see everyone's names. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. No, oh, well. no, oh, well. Uh, Baku is not is waiting not too far away. Uh, Aaron's already there, kind of. Gently laying Mara over the back. Baku just like... <laughs> Very sad sheep noises at the loss of a... Loss of a faithful companion. <laughs> you met Luna? I'm assuming because you yep. said Mara. <laughs> oh. Dang it. Yeah. Mara? Uh, yeah, like, Mara's wait, dead now, by the way. What happened to Mara? <laughs> oh my god. I thought Mara simply is dead. Uh, but... That's fine. Mara can regenerate. Luna, however, is, is over the back of the sheep and is not okay. Mara is just kind of leaning against the sheep and just looking very angry. Angry? You ever wondered what a boy, angry boy set looks like? Yeah. <laughs> just, there is uh... an air of menace that is coming from Mara. There's very visibly this aura of red that everybody could see. Intimidating. <laughs> I take the spot on the sheep. Okay, take the spot on the sheep. Uh, Mara immediately starts walking away from the sheep and does not look at you. That's fine. How do you follow her? Roll doesn't notice. <laughs> Roll doesn't notice. Roll does not give a flying fuck. All right. We have a job. We have a job to do. <laughs> we'll, we'll worry about the party dynamic after the job is done, and I know a little bit more. <laughs> All right, so you all just climb on the sheep well, yeah, and start that's a great way to go about it. Nothing could possibly go wrong with that. <laughs> so who's climbing on the sheep and who's uh, walking alongside the sheep? <laughs> well, I mean, I'll hop up there. I oh, am yeah, Mara already walked off. <laughs> all right. In what direction are you heading back to Chaos Cubes? Uh, I don't remember where we were staying before we went to the casino. Uh, Chaos Cubes would be the casino and... The Wait, job complete the job. Yeah. I am I don't give a shit about the job anymore. <laughs> you want to just start wandering? Yeah, I'm wandering, are you? All right. Sorry, I'm eating candy. <laughs> no, you're good. So you all watch as Mara and Adia just start walking off in a direction. Uh, departs unknown for the moment. Uh, everyone else heading back to Chaos Cubes, or is there another destination in mind? I'm assuming we're going back to Chaos Cubes, but it's up to you. Well, they do that. I will be right back. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm fine with dropping off the this quest. Okay. Let's do it. Then you, all the three of you, start making your way back in the direction. Of the casino. Uh, just, just awkward silence. It's a very awkward silence as 
Astra has taken uh, Adia's spot on the sheep. And you're all <laughs> continuing to walk in a, in a weird silence. Uh, Astra doesn't seem particularly bothered by it at all. It's just kind of stoic, head forward, keeping an eye on the road. Just typical soldier look? Yeah, basically. Just, just focused on the job and what's in front of her. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna double check everybody's passive perception here. If you know what it is off the top of your head, don't be afraid to read that off. Passive perception. You need a perception roll? Not a perception roll. Pa uh, passive perception score. Uh, uh, passive wisdom, passive int, passive wisdom. What? Oh, perception. There it is. Perception, 12. 13. 13? Yeah. Minus 12. 12. Double All right, I'm back. Did anything fun Aaron's happen? Not yet. We're no, in the we're... middle of it. Oh, Aaron's is 14. Oh, shit. Uh, Doggo has the perception. Yeah. So Aaron would see this first. Oh, God. <laughs> see uh, what? <laughs> and Aaron points it out to all of you. Just kind of a mumble over the shoulder. Hey, uh, we're being followed. You do you look over your shoulder? No. What is it? I'll ask him. The same black car has been following us for the last half hour. The car that crashed into the building? Different car. Are you sure it's following us? Uh Aaron makes a point to turn off That's... the path and That's go down exactly uh an alley. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah, starts taking a bit of a winding path and it comes out back to the road. Uh, and about 10 minutes later, you, Aaron kind of just glances briefly over the shoulder and goes, yep. We're being I look at, uh, I look at, uh, or not, Ada. what the fuck? <laughs> Ada. <laughs> I keep hearing these fucking names, but. <laughs> Ada, Ada? Sh uh, Shuff Lady. Astra? Astra, there we go. Fuck, I need to write this name down. And be like, don't make it too obvious, but do you recognize that car behind us? That's why I'm less. Let's see. Let's see how obvious Astra makes this. Okay, that's that's yeah, that's fine. Astra, you watch Astra kind of briefly, like very subtly turn her head and her pupils just kind of go all the way to the corner and goes, Nope. Nice. So what do we do about this? I was getting recently like, okay, pup, you're, this is your job. What do we do? We want to see what they want. Or we want to try and run. Can a sheep outrun a car? <laughs> um, I don't think you've all seen Baku at top speed, so you're not sh sure. Uh, Aaron would go. We can confront them. Doubtful. But you don't think we can confront them? No, that we can we outrun, can't them. outrun them. Well, yeah, it, it, so that's what I mean. Confront them. We'll talk with them. All right. Okay, Aaron. Um, Aaron brings the sheep to a stop. I was going to say we like lead him into a, or, another alleyway. Okay. You go ahead and walk uh, yourselves into another alleyway. And then I'll, we'll get off the sheep and we'll take our positions. Okay. All right. I just saw Baku's fucking coin. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's awesome. Baku, that's Baku's coin, all right. All right. Oh, fuck. How did our life look, actually? I only have one draw. Uh, the only one who's taking any substantial damage is Cohen. Yeah, with that half life. Mm. I mean, how long has it been? Uh, you haven't taken a short rest. This is my chance to use my fucking D and D pool. inventory. No Potion of healing five. You want to take that real quick before we confront yeah. these people? All right, yeah, exactly. go ahead and down one of those crystals of healing. The quantity for 
Uh, red oh, fluid. I, I, would, I would like to say that. Uh, plus two. I would like to say that we take an alleyway that there's still an exit so that we're not trapped in by that. Uh, yes, by it that. is a straight okay. alleyway that goes down to the other road. 2d4 right. plus. Roll. All right. What's this person's name again? Astra? Astra. A S T R A? Yes. Five. Okay. So I gain five life. Astra. Hey, nice. Astra, aka sixteen uh, out of nineteen isn't bad. Shelf lake. We found her in a shelf. <laughs> shelf lady. <laughs> All right. The car parks about thirty feet away from all of you. And you notice four figures step out of it. One female and three males, all with snow white hair, three of them wearing masks, all of them carrying weapons. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> no one takes... well, uh... Oh, go, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. No one takes a step forward. Well... Color me surprised. I was already expecting to deal with a group of Regina's ship bags. But I wasn't expecting a familiar face. She stares right at you, Cohen. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, make a history check for me. History. Apparently I know this person. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Oh crap, I closed them. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Jeopardy music inbound. We're reopening it. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. History, history, history. Ten. Ten. The face is familiar, but this might be somebody you knew in passing rather than somebody you knew very well. Okay. I look at Cohen and shake my hand and be like, first, first the pup is now attracted to shady people, and now you have someone from your past coming back at you? Jesus Christ, what have I done? <laughs> what group have I joined? So, kind of cracks her knuckles, you notice a couple of very sturdy gauntlets on her wrists. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Which is it going to be? Easy way? <laughs> so you sit down and we execute you like reasonable human beings or we make this a bloodbath oh yeah the easy I'm gonna, way okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look at them and be like well <laughs> that depends do you guys like to live the rest of your life happy have a family and die old or you just want to die right now she's got spunk or she's got spunk <laughs> I'll, get, I'll give you I'll give you that Looks at you all, but uh, well, th that's what I mean. The easy way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean see that, that attitude of yours hasn't changed. <laughs> well, I'll be able to collect two bounties today. Much is my <laughs> luck. Look at Cohen bounty. <laughs> Apparently, I have a bounty. <sighs> Why, did you think your father stopped looking for you? <sighs> <laughs> that sigh. <laughs> All right. just see, imagine Roll is just like on the side, just like smirking and half cracking up the whole time. <laughs> just like, what? What just happened? Mash just steps around the side. I don't care who you are but I suggest you turn around and walk away. Well. <laughs> Look at Queen over here. Oh my goodness. She doesn't even realize why we're here. No, it's, it's okay, princess. You'll die knowing what you've done. Kind of rolls her shoulders, gets into a stance. Uh, what would you all like to do? 
I walk away. No, I'm just joking. Uh, <laughs> the party's signature move, walk away. <laughs> Walking away. I, I walk away. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll hold on my hand. And uh, what the fuck was it called? Sacred, fl sacred Flame. Okay. You ready and to just, want to fight? I'm just, yeah, I'm just showing like, mm -hmm. like, you know. I'm trying to make it, I know it's a cantrip, but I'm trying to make it like as intense as I can possibly can. Okay. And be like, just say the word. Well, let's go. All right. Astra's like, I hope you've made peace with your deaths. I would like everybody <laughs> to please roll initiative. Fucking 15. I'm gonna get the metaphorical popcorn out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, Mara and Audio are just having a peaceful old time. Huh. Yeah, let's yeah, let's see how this goes when they don't have Mara the meat shield. <laughs> we have a tank. We we have an NPC. We have two NPCs. <laughs> Technically, yeah, you do right now. Uh initiative. Plus three. Yeah. Six. Oh, shit. Six? Oh, no. <clears throat> okay, let me go ahead and clear the turn list here. Six. Wow, okay. <laughs> it's happening again. <laughs> it's like nothing changed in these two weeks. <laughs> like nothing's ever changed. All right, let me, I've got Aaron's sheet up, thankfully, so I know. Okay, wow, Aaron's just not doing much better in terms of my rolls, but I guess it works you know, like, out. You don't <clears throat> get the roll for Aaron. <laughs> you die, you die. Die change. Right. Put, I, put I just made a die change. It was an oh, improvement. <laughs> All right, and then for Astra, and get Astra's sheet up here as well. I totally don't have four character sheets. I need to balance right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, roll. What'd you get? Uh, fifteen. Oh wow! All right. So yeah, you're uh, you're up first. I'm up first. You are up first. I totally didn't fucking put new spells on either. Fuck. Dot's leaving the scene. Walk away. <laughs> Bye, Rock. Beautiful. Well, I'm gonna do my uh, my signature move, and I'm gonna cat. I'm gonna cast. Uh... Hold on. Sacred flame is sixty feet. Ooh. Pretty sure you get it sixty feet. Oh yeah. Cast Sacred Flame on uh, the leader that's above, that's ahead. Okay. All right. So is that attack roll or a saving throw? That is a you're saving saving oh, throw, I believe. Saying? Well, is it a cat? Is a a Sacred Flame? Trip. Trip? Yeah. So it might saving be throw. Dexterity saving throw. Dexterity really? saving throw. All right, then I've got your take one piece right here. And I do not want to throw the dice that far. <laughs> like my main objective is to uh, throw that out your feet. That is a uh, that is a fail. Oh, nice. No wait. Uh, nope. Sorry, it's fast. Saving. It's saving. It's got a higher score. Uh, so just barely passes as you notice she actually does a full on parkour flip over your sacred flame Whoa. lands on her feet and just kind of waggles her finger at you doesn't it mean that she takes half damage uh not no, on a cantrip not, not a yeah not on a cantrip oh, okay uh you still have a bonus action uh i think draw is a fucking action isn't it it is that's right never mind then yeah, I just hold it, and that's it. All right. In that case, that brings us to Astra. Uh, you watch as she pulls out uh, a handle and a long 
pointed needle about four about uh two and a half feet long appears out of it as Fuck. she charges straight forward at one of the knights and goes for two attacks uh the first one is a total 20 which does hit holy shit second one is total 21 so yeah she hits both of them both of them oh she makes two attacks she makes two oh. attacks holy crap uh wow an eight yeah of eight and a seven <clears throat> so for a grand total running the math here 23 Whoa. points of damage. Uh, wow. More than any <laughs> To any a single world. enemy as well. she just starts immediately stabbing into it. Uh, you can see that the knight, the gooned figure, begins to shift. Like, parts of his movements are a mirage. And she just like, stabs right through it, right in the chest twice. Ugh! Oh! <laughs> <coughs> Uh, that's all she can do. Uh, it's now Aaron's turn. Aaron's gonna start by charging up a Sen. Yeah. Uh, is gonna step forward and go for the Higanvana. Get a pup. Yep. Let's see. Higanvana. Yep, so, so he's going to go ahead and make an attack roll with the katana. 11, unfortunately, does not hit. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, as he swings forward with the katana, the just deflected by the gauntlet. It's like, pop. Got a lot to learn. Uh, brings us to Cohen. That. I can't that. Alright, well, I guess I'll just do my thing. Run here. Okay. Try and grapple this bitch. Alright! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Absolutely go for it. He's just going to try and escape. So let's... The signature. Attack, attack will... Uh, make a athletics check. Yep, yep, yep. 20. Oh! Nat? Nat? No, total 20. Oh. 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 That is... Not natural. That is still better. You do oh. have her grappled as you just... As she dodges the blade, she walks right into your waiting arms, Cohen, as you just wrap your arms around her. You've got her. All right. R wrap her around. So we're, we're grappled on the ground. Yep. And... Let's... I guess, well, you know, my unarmed attack. Let's, you know, attempt. I don't know. Okay. Head butt. Uh, <laughs> Head butt. Throw a punch. <laughs> Head butt. Uh, hit. Oh, an eight. You go uh, for the headbutt. She meets your headbutt in the center, and you just parry each other. Okay. Oh, just what a mess. All right, so now all attacks and everything on this target have an advantage. All right. That brings us to the knights. And she has a disadvantage. Ooh. Uh, the one right here, all of them pull out great swords. No, what the fuck? Uh, simultaneously. First one goes for, uh, <laughs> goes for Astra. Not happy about the massive amounts of damage he's just taken. That is a total of 15, which does hit her. Now I see why you're hiding underneath the shelf. <laughs> I don't say that, of course. Yeah, she takes eight <laughs> points of slashing damage. Damn. Kind of takes it along the shoulder down the arm, and she doesn't look phased at all. Uh, the second one steps forward 
Uh, takes a swing at you, Cohen. That is an eight total. Miss. Uh, and the last one over here is actually going to step into a flanking position and attack with advantage on Aaron. For a total of 16, which does hit him. That hit him, yep. Dealing seven points of slashing damage. Ugh. Oh, you look, oh no, you still have, never mind. I thought you had half-life still. Now he's 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 got some HP, but that was that was a brutal hit. That was a good portion of his health. It, that it is. Uh, it is the end of their turn. It now brings us to the leader, who is going to point an arm up through the grapple. Uh, and you f hear a kachunk as you watch an object fire up out of the gauntlet. Over both of you. And lands immediately behind both Cohen and Aaron and detonates. I need you both to make dexterity saving throws. Nice. Aaron does not succeed. Wouldn't she need to roll to see if she can get her hand out? Wouldn't it be really fucking funny if Aaron gets knocked unconscious while he's not here? I think that would be hilarious. <laughs> that would be not great. What? Well, yeah. She can still. So, she's she's she's, on, she's only or? bound for movement. She's not bound from attacking or using her attacking actions. Disadvantage in attack rolls. Yeah. I will say you all have advantage on your saving throws though. She shoots and it's a dud. Yeah, just, just because, yeah, this is a hard aim. She doesn't have grappled. I will say you both have it. There is there's advantage. So let me give Aaron another roll here. Which is good because this one is a pass. <laughs> and then I rolled a 21. So yeah, you both succeed. So you're taking half damage from this. Which is good because that was high. Uh, you both take four points of fire damage. As the grenade explodes... Behind you, no shrapnel, just a burst of flame and fire. Quit putting it away. <laughs> you managed to mostly dodge out of the way, but that still that still caused a bit of damage. Uh she's still grappled though. She's not currently going anywhere. And yeah, that's Rolls. that's just her turn. You roll. All right. I gotta yeah, ask something. Is <laughs> are cantrips uh, bonus actions or are they actions? Actions. Uh, it depends on what the cantrip says. Some are bonus uh, actions, some are actions. It will say on the spot. One action. Okay, got it. Okay. Well, I guess it's time for me to do my fucking job. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast. 60 feet. I'm gonna cast Healing Word on Aaron. Okay. Because you're looking a little, a little rough there, buddy. Go ahead and roll that D4. Four. Seven. Seven total. Dang. Seven total. That is, yeah, most of his HP back. So can you see roll just point like finger guns and then healing. I don't know why Roll's being cheesy now. At this point, <laughs> you all watch as Aaron's wounds begin to close up. Some of the fire and the I don't singed know why he's fur starting to heal up. Singed fur. Appreciate sure I love to hear about his fur being singed. Then I'm going to... Going to move spells. No, no matter where I go, I'm gonna get hit. This guy comes at me. I don't want to use spells to recover. Well, I'll just move over here. Okay. And then I'll 
I'm, still, I'm pretty sure you still can hit me if you wanted to, but... but if if you really want. wanted to. If you really wanted to, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's Healing it. word is a bonus action? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a bonus action? Yeah, it's a bonus action. Oh, shit, where's the action at? I must have been looking at the wrong one. Okay, in that case, I'm going to use draw and hold it. Okay. Well, depending on what I have, I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it and I cast it. Okay. Go ahead. Uh. Yeah, go ahead and draw. What the fuck's my draw? Isn't it the your draw action? You get a all actions. You have the draw, which is a one d six. Okay, here we go. One d six. Yep. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Did you move your mic away? You sound like you're far away. Oh yeah, I'm actually like leaning towards my uh my, t my there you go. computer. Three. Three is three, bitch. The arrow. You gain one extra attack when you take the act attack action. Oh snap! Um, you did not seriously just draw that. I did. Give it to pink haired lady. I was just thinking that. <laughs> I'm gonna put put my hands together, form a fist, pull out a uh, a yellowish crystal. Okay. Toss it to uh, Astra. It's going to uh, it's gonna go disappear, and you're just gonna see a yellow glow on her weapon. Oh. It's the same effect too, like kind of like like it's losing signal, but it's yellow instead of uh. Like okay. Astro doesn't even react and just kind of raises her weapon and ready. Uh, anything else for your roll? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. She's gonna go ahead and look at the guy in front of her and just take three attacks. Holy fuck. First one's a nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> she won't need it. <laughs> she will crit. <laughs> Does, does it last? I keep I keep forgetting. Does it last until it's used, or until? Or does it last for just three turns? Three turns. Oh, oh shit! Oh, so good. yeah, she's got an extra, an extra attack for three turns. That's wild. It's a little bit nutty. <laughs> uh, that is ten points of damage on the first strike. Second attack. Another crit. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm not kidding. She rolled back to back 20s. All right. So when you use NPCs, you use a different die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is another eight points of damage. He's using whatever die I was using on Maya when we did that one shot. Apparently. Oh, yeah, for real. Okay. The third one doesn't hit, though. Ah. <laughs> there was a four, but the, but the first two strikes, they, with the strength of an arrow and the speed of one you watch as the strikes are coming faster and faster this guy is being cut to ribbons exceptionally quickly the third strike he finally manages to just raise his great sword and by sheer luck parry the final blow <laughs> i was just getting ready i like to imagine like he was on his way to the ground when he actually put his sword up and blocked it um uh, <laughs> astra's gonna use her bonus action and attempt to just kick him nice it doesn't work. Oh. She hits him in the side. It barely does anything. But, you know, an, an attempt was made. An attempt was made. Uh, that brings us to Aaron, who is going to start by charging another Sen. Uh, he's going to go for another Higanbana on, uh, on Grapple Lady with advantage because of the grapple. Oh, yeah. He wasn't successful. Uh, and he gets it, so now a constitution saving throw. We'll double check. I forgot he moved the first time. Yeah, unfortunately. He's been doing really well with that on his end. Apparently, just me piloting it does not do anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she's now going to make a constitution saving throw. I also forgot about fucking fortune teller, but oh well. Uh, if you want to roll that now, you can. No, 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 no. I already, I already threw the card, so that's all right. Okay. Fortune teller is whatever. If I can roll a one, one, three, or five, I can cast a, um, a rain spell, or a, if I roll a two, four, or six, I can do extra uh, healing 
Unfortunately, oh. she resists the Hegan Bana. So uh, basically, basically, you want to draw every time. Then. Yeah. But I forgot about it. But oh well. Uh, yeah, she resists the Hegan Bana, and Aaron, Aaron's gonna also, Aaron's gonna take a fist and also go for a punch. No, that's a two. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> It's like, it's this light tap to the shoulder. It's like a, hey, you got this yeah, You just want Aaron to get his ass beat. I'm paying the price for not being friendly today. <laughs> Cohen, you're up. So wait, he got an advantage with all that? And she resisted the con save. Wow. Hegan Vana is a, is a good ability, but you have to win twice with the dice. Yeah. All right. Well. Two pleasure. Two, two attack. Uh, I guess... Yeah. <laughs> Two attacks on white haired lady. Okay. Oh, 11. Oh, wait. With advantage. No, 14. 14. Is that hit? Uh, I believe. I'm double checking the AC really fast here. That is a hit. Okay, cool. So 14 first, hits. First punch hits. And a 21. Total 21 on the second punch. Okay. Also hits. Okay. <laughs> Keep some damage. Going. Five and five. Ten damage total. Ooh, Ooh. That is that is some pain right there. You smack her twice. Like, ah! I uh, see you haven't lost your fight. I was like, I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, who are you again? I'm sorry, come again. <laughs> what else were you, Cohen? Well, uh, that's, that's it. I don't think I could do anything. My bonus action was the using attack. The attack, so. Uh, I could spend a key point to okay. dodge the next attack, but. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it yet. Anyway, continue. Okay. That brings us to the goons. Uh, this one is absolutely terrified of Astra is now going to start running away. Sorry, boss. I got a pail. Uh, she's going to take an attack of opportunity. So oh, to say boy. 12, which does not hit. Uh, she swings the rapier, it bounces, it flashes through the mirage movement, and he bolts. Uh, he is, he's 25 feet off that. Uh, the other two are kind of looking at each other. Uh, he's, the, the goon right in front of you, Cohen, is going to turn and swing at Astra. Okay. That is not enough. He swings the sword down. Astra parries a great sword with a rapier. Hell yeah. With very <laughs> little effort. <laughs> Just kind of overarching motion and guides the blade down into the ground. Uh, the other guy, seeing that Aaron isn't really doing anything, is going to take a step over and take a swing at Cohen with advantage. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> Like, you're not worth my time, boy. I know I call them pup, but damn. That is a natural 20. Oh, shit. It's a question. Yes. No attack of opportunity because he didn't move a square away? He did not move out of Eren's combat range. Okay. Maybe I should have used the key. Uh, <laughs> I was just thinking that, but I didn't want to. That anything. is a. You all watch as the sword comes down, slams Cohen in the back, and knocks him out. Knocks him. Total out. thirteen damage. Damn. As you all watch, Cohen drop to the ground. The grapple released. As we come to the captain, who was like, "Okay, well." Learn some new moves, but not enough. Looks over to Astra. Steps over, 
which does proc an opportunity attack from Eren. <laughs> Eren! I'm so sorry! <laughs> that uh, is Doing a natural four, which dirty. is not going to be close. Uh, and yeah, the, she's going to pull back her gauntlets and go for two punches. It is a 10, which misses. And an 11, which also misses. Both of her strikes, the punches are parried by the rapier. As you're now watching these two ladies just engage in intense, fast-paced melee combat. Uh, and which... Your enemy is not landing any hits at all. Astra is dancing around all of her strikes. Nice. Uh, she's going to go for... She's going to go for a kick. The kick, uh, actually lands. Using her bonus action. So she does get six points of damage off. <laughs> Planting a kick to the chest of Astra, who, which causes her to stumble back for a moment. Uh, but that's her turn. Roll, you're up. Got okay, a question. I, I, I have an answer. If I, if I go right here... What I, oh no, that's next to Cohen. Never mind. What am I thinking? I thought Cohen's right here for some reason. Let's see if it's worth it though. Yeah, you can go over there. You can stand there. So I'm gonna move over here. You can do two heals. And I'm gonna cast. The fuck was it? Cure wounds. Okay. On Cohen. Go for it. Get up, buddy. Seven. Nice. So we got seven points of. How many slots do you have left, by the way? That's a. Uh, only have only that's my first. Uh, that's my first slot because I I use nothing but cantrips. Well, healing word is a first level spell. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay, so this is the second I... one. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. No, this is the first one because I didn't use key ones at all. You used healing word last time. Did I? Oh shit, I did. Okay, yeah. So that's my second one. Second you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Spells. But. He good healing. High rolls. So seven. That's one action. Okay, my bonus action. Seven points. Don't think I have any bonus actions. Yeah, because Sacred Flame is not a bonus action. Fuck. Mm -hmm. So when you didn't cure wounds, you only cured seven. So that means, did you roll, roll a four? four. Yeah, I rolled a four. Yeah. Prevented a flanking position on Ashka, though. Well, so that's at that least that was the plan all that's all along. <laughs> uh, I can't use a dagger. If you want to try an offhand dagger, I I've, I've been letting people just do straight d20 rolls. All right, I'll try it. And then I move like my, much, my final much weaker than like a monk's offhand, but you know it's like. Eh. I mean, well, what you could have done actually is instead of done the. So that was your second first level spell. Uh, roll. Are you taking that step back? Yes. Okay. So the guy roll. next to Cohen is gonna take a swing at you. But he's between Astra and Cohen. You are leaving his combat range though. Okay, then I won't. Okay. Yeah, it, it would. It would leave, even were... though it's a diagonal movement, it would still, it would still so, provoke that attack of opportunity. That's weird. Okay. <clears throat> the um. Then I don't think I have anything. I don't think you should have. You should have drawn, right? Oh no! The draws I can't draw. action. And you, you're out of draws if I remember correctly. Oh, no, no, no! I, yeah. I forgot the spell he did wasn't. Oh, I see. I see. I don't. You want? Yeah, I don't have. I don't. Well, the only well, I can use healing word, I guess, for more healing because it is a bonus action. Uh, and that would be that would be your last level one spell. Unfortunately, can't cast two spells in the same turn unless one's a even, cantrip. Even though that they're both one says action, the other one says bonus action. Yep. Yeah, that's okay. That's weird. I won't do anything then. I'm stuck here. You want to take the dagger thing? Well, who am I? Can, the guy right here between Cohen uh, and the, Astro? Yeah, one of the one of the two guys flanking Cohen. Okay. Yeah. I'll uh, attack the guy swinging Cohen with the off 
dagger attack, I guess. The one above or below? Probably the, the one below. Okay. Roll a d20. Eighteen. Eighteen hits. Roll a d4 and add your dex. Jeez. Be a plus two. Yeah, plus two. So you watch mid heal. Yep. Roll just swips out a dagger and stabs the dude in the leg. It's like I. Right. Yeah. Guy rolled a two. You absolute bunny fuck. Oh, I'm sorry. Four. Four. Yep. Four. Four total. Just kind of hopping on one leg, like, I fuck in the leg, really? <laughs> Fucking bite me. <laughs> uh, brings us to Astra, who. Hmm. Is gonna keep swinging at the captain in front of her. First strike is a hit. Holy crap. Just kicking her ass, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, that is... Yikes. That is 11 points of damage. Nice. Plus four. Uh, is... Second attack. Another hit. Another six points. As you want... You blade... It is just moving. Oh my goodness. Third strike also hits. <laughs> All three hit this time. Astro, what the fuck? Another. Yeah, you you all watch as this rapier is. Shut up, alarm. <laughs> <laughs> Almost faster than your eyes can track as a result of the card is tearing and ripping into the captain. And she's going, like, this. Getting out of here! Oh, why are you running? We're having <laughs> so much fun. Uh, it's now Aaron's turn. He's gonna he's, he's gonna take a swing at the guy. Roll just stab. Forget oh, yeah. forget all of this Hegan Bana stuff. He's gonna charge at the sun at least, but <laughs> uh, it's definitely not gonna continue with that. Eleven does not hit though. Oh my god. god. Aaron, unfortunately, cannot seem to hit anything today. I think I should give him. Good thing I didn't give him the fucking. Uh, money. he's gonna go for a kick. A seventeen hits though. <laughs> we should have went for a trip. Uh, and does deal four points of damage, as in the same leg, Aaron kicks the man's like, oh, fuck you both. Cohen, you're up. You are so who, who, who's, the, who's the one getting knifed and all that stuff? Uh, the one right below you. You are currently no. prone on the ground. I'm prone? Yes. Or he? You are. Oh, yeah, because you got knocked out. Just knocked because of the knockout. Hmm. Well. Hold the line! Obviously, if I'm on the ground, I can't. Can I trip? <laughs> you, can, you can go for a trip if you want to, yeah. Uh, I'm wondering if... Well, I, I'll stand back up. Okay. And then... Obviously, is that in my action and standing up, right? That's uh, half of your movement. Oh. Oh, that's all it is? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, was oh, getting ready, I was getting ready to say, but I was eating. <clears throat> uh, Thankfully, being prone is not too punishing. Right. Yeah, I'll try and trip the guy behind me and use my key point to dodge the next action. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make an athletics check for the trip. 19 total. Which actually, I found out. I, I like look through my features and all that stuff. One of my, my one of my feats, I guess, being a monk is proficiency in athletic skills. Ah, nice. 
Uh, so, so wait, is it the guy above you or below you? Above me. Above me? He is tripped. <laughs> you sweep the leg and he is completely knocked prone to the ground. And then... It's like, ah! <laughs> and then patient defense? Yep. All right. Comes to their turn. The guy below you is actually going to attempt to grapple Regina. Or grapple, not Regina, Astra. Attempting to grapple Astra. So. Would the Regina join the fight? Yeah, Regina, <laughs> so, not, Regina is here. Regina's in. Actually manages to. Oh boy, this is going to be. No, yeah, he manages to grab her. So Astra is currently grappled and dragged backwards. We can do that? Yep. It takes uh, double movement to drag somebody. What the fuck? So he's just 20, 20 feet of movement to drag Astra away. Cohen and Roll get a tax of opportunity. Oh, yeah. Ah, fuck. Nine. Sweet. Unfortunately. Four. 14 hit. 14 does not hit. You both go for a punch and a stab, and it's weird. He was there a second ago and just isn't now. It's this weird mirage armor seems to be holding. It's giving you a really hard time. Uh, is then going to use the rest of his movement to start running, which gives Aaron and Astra their opportunity attacks. Wait, what? Wait, what? Uh, so he grappled him and then started, and then to started run. running. Oh, wait, I thought grapple pulling someone takes double movement. Yep, he's got, he used 20 feet, he's got 10 left. So he only, get, he only gets to right there. So for Aaron, Aaron actually lands this one! Fucking finally. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And deals 14 points of damage. Damn. Is that right? Oh, no, that's the hit. Oh, wait, that's Cohen's hit. Wait, what? Oh, no, 10 points of damage. Okay. Which is still a ridiculously high amount of damage. <laughs> uh, and then Astra's going to come in with a rapier. And also hits. So, I'm just wondering what his mindset was. Is well, I'll pull this person away, and then I'm going to run. And then two people attack me, and then I'm going to run away, and then other two people attack me. I really want to That die. is a total of eight, another eight points. As he's just getting cut and banged up on his way out. The Mirage not helping him this time. Uh, this dude is actually going to go ahead and use half his movement to stand up. Uh, and then is going to bolt 15 feet away towards the sheep. Everybody's used their reactions at this point, so. Nothing to be done there. Uh, and it's actually going to use his action to charge another 30 feet past Baku. Uh, Baku's going to take a bite. Nice. I want him to eat him. <laughs> Baku does not. I, think, I was about to say, I think if Baku rolls in that 20, he should be allowed to just eat somebody whole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's their turn. That brings us to this captain who is going to stand up uh bolt for the hills action movement and bonus action is now 85 feet off map who she gets before she leaves i want to yell but we we're having so much fun you're so confident about the bounty what happened come back here bitch I just typical, don't typical silly bounty hunters all talking no bite uh and actually climbs into the car <laughs> She's gonna fucking run us over. <laughs> oh no. Give him her ideas. Uh <laughs> roll, you're up. Uh I wanna sacred flame that car. Okay. Uh let's see. Or mind sliver. I haven't tried mind sliver in a while. Let's try that. What's my Oh no no, no. she's she's eighty feet away though. Yeah, <sighs> she okay, so from where you are now. You, she's a hundred feet, feet away from you. Yeah, never mind, I'm not gonna do anything. Okay. Uh, I guess this, would... this guy's still close, though. You could run. Let me, uh... 
Damn, what do I want to do? You could sprint with your bonus action to get within 60 feet of her and mine sliver. Well, keep well, in mind, for, for everybody but monks and rogues, uh, dashing on a bonus is uh, dashing takes an action. Oh, action. Well, I guess mine sliver this guy, this fuck over here. Okay. Uh, what type of save is that? That is a... Intelligence saving throw. Oh, boy. That is a seven. Absolutely not. Oh, nice. Roll damage. Six. Max damage, baby. Oh, shoot. And disadvantage on the next saving throw. Uh, or no, it's not disadvantage. It's what is it? I'm minus a d4, isn't it? Minus a d4 from the next saving throw. It makes before the end of your next turn. That's right. so much better than a disadvantage. <laughs> Should my cast opinion. my slipper now on says sacred flame. It does. It, it does have a very handy effect. Sure does. All right. Uh, anything else for your roll? Um. I don't have a healing cantrip, don't I? I do not. Oh nope. Nope. That'd be it. Okay. Astra is gonna walk over to this guy and start wailing with the final turn of the card. Hell yeah. Oh, she doesn't have that uh, thing anymore either. I think that's three turns already. This is the last turn, yeah. Oh. Because it's to the end of her turn, isn't it? Uh, yeah, this would be her third turn. This would be it. the third turn. Uh, the first strike from her does not hit. Second strike does. 19 oh. total. To equal to my wisdom modifier or mm -hmm. wisdom ability. It's a plus three, so yeah. Yeah. There's another nine points of piercing damage. Third and final strike. Does not hit. Ah. The mirages take most of the strike. Still one good blow in. Uh, she's going to throw one more punch. Does No, that's a four. <laughs> uh, it's now Aaron's turn. Aaron kind of looks to you all. So are we going to get this guy? Well, we need we need a, we need some answers. So if you want to knock this guy out, that'd be great. Okay, he steps forward and is gonna go for the katana. Make sure he uses the doll end. Let's see. Yeah, he's gonna go <laughs> for non-lethal. He's going for non-lethal. Uh, played a possibility. <laughs> I love it. Which does not hit, but I will add one more point of damage because it was the blade of possibility he's supposed to be using, which adds another point of damage. So, uh, there you go. Damn. Uh, bonus action is going to attempt the kick again. Because this is the guy whose leg is all fucked up. <laughs> Actually gets it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> really? The, the katana does nothing. The random kicks, however, do another four points of damage. <laughs> Hey, man, you take what you can get. <laughs> right. Random kick. Cohen, you're up. It's because the blade is predictable. The kick isn't. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Don't expect no one the expects kick the kick. Of the kick. Inquisition. So, 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 <laughs> the kick of the Inquisition. So this, this guy is the only guy, like, facing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the only guy left. All right. Well, I mean, there is the guy back here, but he's, he's also running for the hills. I'll use my uh, combat abilities for a non-lethal unarmed attack. Okay. Try to incapacitate him. Uh, 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 swing. Miss. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm so... I, it's like he's a ghost, just bobbing and weaving, despite hopping on one leg like a crazy 15. person. 15 also doesn't hit. Oh, my God. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna freaking use a chi, my last chi. Oh snap! My, my last key point, and I'm gonna make two more unarmed strikes. Flurry of blows. <laughs> Holy shit! <clears throat> Actually, wait a minute. Hang on, let me. Is it? Oh, After you take an action on your turn, you can spend one key point. Okay, no, I already used. So, well, you well, you can do one more. I'll say if you you were you were, you were gonna use it anyway, so take one more strike. Jeez. That hits! 16 barely hits! Oh my god. All 16 right. was the DC. 16 wow. is the DC. 
See if I can knock him out with a six. Go for the hit. One. Dodges on hopping on one leg. Dodges the second one. Third one. You juke right, but you were ready for it. Uppercut straight to the jaw. He flies back five feet, hits the ground, and is completely out KO'd. Hell yeah. All right, cool. At this point, the dude in this part of the alleyway drives. The captain, you can see through the window, shakes her head and speeds off. Tip of the finger. Uh, or is that an action? <laughs> yeah, she's just she's she's gonna drive away, and that brings to the end of combat. Oh my goodness! Got her ass kicked. <clears throat> Very nicely done. Don't say that in front of the enemy. It was it was like the air. That's like Aaron wasn't even there. <laughs> it's like Aaron, Listen, everyone has an off day, okay? We're Aaron missing two there. characters. You're missing two characters. <laughs> Aaron's not gonna hear the end of this. <laughs> oh no. No, Aaron, no, we can blame Kotswa. Kotswa used rig die. He wanted yeah, to make it I, even harder. I used I used D, &D Beyond. I used both of the D20s I have here. It, nothing was working. Kotswa was like, I'm gonna make fucking <laughs> Sir and Raz work for this shit. And I'm just sitting here like sipping my water, like, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> we got carried by an NPC. We literally did. We really did. If only Aaron didn't oh. hit shit. I'm so sorry. Well, somebody had to fill in the shoes. We couldn't continue the curse of fucking Adia and Mara never being able to hit things in the same time. <laughs> that is true. That That's is true. fucking true. And to be fair, Astra had a 0.5% DPS increase with that arrow. <laughs> that was a nutty draw. I saw that and I was like, oh. Oh, wow. Attack pretty good. <laughs> an extra attack. Oh, for three turns. Oh, no. I was like, an extra attack. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Astra can attack three times now. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> for three turns. Yeah. Attack three times for three turns. Uh, just wait till they're higher level. It'll, uh, the one extra attack won't actually feel very powerful. <laughs> you say that. Because well, it's like fighters and stuff like that, they get to like attack four times. If you gave a 20th level fighter an arrow, it would be up to 10 attacks in a single turn. That's wild. Oh my god. That's terrifying. <laughs> so does anyone want to switch to fighter? <laughs> well, in, in, in general, all melee, I think at higher levels, all melee but get like multiple attacks. Mm -hmm. it's, so like, it's starting about level five that I think all of the melee will get uh, extra attack. An extra attack. And then like they get it at level 10, like 14, 15. Um, Actually, I don't think Reaper gets. I think Reaper gets more like caster shit, depending on what. I think you might get brand of Reaper. Time. I think it depends on which brand of Reaper you choose. And I was gonna go the caster route, so. So they're, okay, yeah. I don't know what they would have modeled Reaper after. On D and D. They wrong. No idea, actually. They modeled it after Reaper. <laughs> it was. Um... No, you got your extra uh, attack fifth level. I do? Yep. Okay. Alright, so you now have this unconscious man in a mask, great sword on the ground, <sighs> right leg super fucked up, stabbed and heavily bruised and completely knocked out. Regina goes to point her rapier at the throat of the man. Astra. Astra? Or, yeah, Astra. Astra. Fucking damn it! <laughs> I need, keep, I... I need to keep my pink-haired woman straight. Uh, Astra, yeah, goes to point the rapier at the man. It's all like, don't kill him yet. <laughs> he, need, he needs to answer some questions. And then, as I say that, I look at Cohen as well. <laughs> yeah. So what was that all about, Cohen? Uh, make a persuasion check roll. Me? Oh, trying to persuade the NPC. I know. Convince Astra to not. <laughs> oh, that was a one. I got a ten. Okay. I thought that was a got one. A I was like, oh, fucking Astra's gonna kill well, him. Well, I mean, I, I guess I could say it's like, yeah, I, w I would love to hear what he has to say. Well, that's the wrong one. <laughs> well, uh, I between didn't the two much of better. you, she looks between you both. 
looks down at the man. Contemplates for a moment. Apologies, I can't let him live. Sinks the rapier, goes to sink the rapier into the throat. <sighs> it's and technically two failed death saves, so he's still technically alive. So if anyone wanted to intervene... Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can push her away. Okay. Oh. Make an athletics while, while, check. Well, I push her away, I want to tell her, like, I found you hidden underneath the shelf. The least you can do is fucking, um... I admire. What the fuck is the word I'm looking for? The least you can do is listen to one request. Athletics? Athletics. Robotics. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. Eleven. Eleven? Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, you go to shove her. She dodges out of the way uh, and twists. As long as she's out of the, as long as she doesn't isn't near the guy, I don't care. Uh, the man is dead. <laughs> I thought you said yeah, one more saving throw. Oh, you rolled. She twi she twisted the she twisted the rapier and finished the job. <sighs> That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Coin doesn't give a fuck about know it. Anything. There are many people who hate Regina. She's not a well-liked individual. Gee, I wonder why. But apparently these folks probably worked for my father, so it's like, yeah. <laughs> Mercenary. She kicks the body. I remind and, so, and walk away. Somehow that either they've been watching us or... Somehow they've uh, figured out that we were dealing with this. I mean, I, I don't know with like how high profile is this core thing that we're turning. I mean, like, we are work, we are working for Regina, one of the thirteen families. Uh, Regina is not a member of a high house. She's not. She's not. She's just not uh, upper echelon. Wait, where the how the fuck did I write that down then? Uh. Huh, I must she have mentioned that one of the high houses was dealing with some shady shit in a warehouse. Question. Yes. History check. Am I part of the one of the the, the families? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, you wouldn't actually need to roll for this. Uh, you are you are not. Okay. A member of one of the high houses. Um. Given your past and your history, you have worked with a few or your family has but uh you are you yourself are fairly middle class upper middle okay. but not upper upper crust so what would a middle class uh, what would a bounty hunter know about a middle class member of the society of society what'd you do Cohen uh I didn't want to be part of the family anymore. So your dad's going to kill you because of that? Yeah, pretty much. God, the city gets more pettier and pettier the more I'm f the more I live here. <laughs> Many people in the city are out for themselves. That's not a surprise. Yeah. I Trust guess me, I probably I know. know. I knew too much about the business. For them, for me to just quit gang life. Gang? <laughs> You're part of the mafia? Spice Runner, yes. Spice Runner? What the fuck? This is, uh, this is actually just, this is me, not Ro. Not Ro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ro is surprised, but she doesn't, she's not like, what? Finally, we learned backstory about one of the party members. <laughs> right? <laughs> Only took seven episodes. <laughs> Oh, Astro looks to you, Cohen. It's a wonder you don't want any interactions with the police. <laughs> Shall we continue? I doubt they'll be back for some time. Yes. Let's go turn this bitch in. Alright. You all climb on the back of Baku and make your way back down to Chaos Cubes. In the meantime, <laughs> Adia, what have you been up to? 
Uh, you know. <laughs> you want to roll the? Table. You want to roll the table? Sure. <laughs> Completely optional. Yeah, fuck it. Let's roll the table. All right, fifty-six. <laughs> Audio runs into the remnants of that gang that we fought. <laughs> Wow! We, I, we got an overlap! Okay! Really, we do? Yep! Oh, no, both oh parties have encountered 56. Oh, shit. <laughs> you see a girl with white hair in a car, sitting there beat up and cursing at her steering wheel. It's like punching her steering wheel. Like, <laughs> uh, you make your way over to a park. Fun. Fun. Uh, it's it's a wide park, fairly open, lots of trees, lots of park benches. Uh, but this particular park uh, has a unique attraction to it. In the Define center unique. of the in the center of the park <laughs> is an elaborate art piece, a glowing red obelisk that has the slight hourglass shape, uh, mm. floating about thirty feet in the air. It mm -hmm. is wrapped in a twisting bowl of dead trees, almost like a pair of hands are wrapping around the obelisk. It's still this massive bowl, so it's not like these trees are getting close to touching it, but it creates this very unique uh, stylish art piece. Uh, Interesting. Oh, there's Aaron. Awake. Oh, hey, Aaron. Aaron just woke up. Um... No, every, there's a few people that are, you know, having having some picnics, taking walks. Nobody's paying special interest. Like, this is an unusual thing that has suddenly appeared. You get the impression mm. you know, this has kind of been here. Uh-huh. <laughs> Interesting. But, of course, it is a glowing obelisk. <laughs> I can't yeah, ever make anything obelisk. certain, can I? <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm gonna go investigate the the glowing obelisk. Sure. Now, now, now I'm curious. All right. Uh, you walk up under the obelisk. There's no way to touch it directly without some kind of ladder. Uh, do you I... just want to inspect it? Yeah. Can All I right. do like an, an arcane yeah. check or something? Make an arcana check. Arcana, arcane. Same difference. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the same check. Yeah. <laughs> 20. 20 total. Uh, there is something innately powerful within this obelisk. Uh, some kind of tether or connection. You can feel it attempting to pull you in. Fucking not, fantastic. Not That's not physically, ominous at all. But mentally. Huh. <laughs> huh. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. I can Mara go up and touch the obelisk. Yeah. Mara goes up and ding, 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 kind of pokes at it. Doesn't react touch. at all. Touch. Uh huh. All right. Well, uh, Adia has no way of getting up there to investigate the obelisk further, but the mentally being pulled towards it—that's just disconcerting. But you know, it's okay. Well, you you still follow it or no? I'm sure, fuck it, why not? <laughs> you let this obelisk pull you in. Uh, and your mind Hi, goes, <laughs> your vision goes white. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, it's blinding light for a moment, and then you see dawn light an actual sky with clouds so a concept exceptionally foreign to you living in the city you've never seen anything like this only pictures and stories uh it's <laughs> it's <Cosmo's> beautiful fault. <laughs> you hit once actually no three times but two were kicks yeah, you were just you were hitting random kicks, but not actual um, sword. Strength. You missed two Higanbanas. <laughs> you can't miss Higanbana. 
<laughs> Apparently, oh, you can. Oh, contraire. Oh, contraire. Kyle's going to prove that. You can't miss it. Well, you have to land oh. the attack first. You have to land the attack and you... They have to fail, fail the saving throw. Oh, contraire! Cosmo proved that you can miss Higginbana. Twice the worst samurai. It is. <laughs> it's true. Absolute dog shit samurai. Uh. So needless to say, it was basically just Sir and Raz in combat because Adia wasn't there. Yeah, Adia's Neither not. Neither was you Mara. Are. We were carried by an NPC. Mm-hmm. We also <laughs> learned that Raz was from a gang that ran Spice. Oh yeah. And his dad wants him dead because of it. Because he left the family. Fine. Anyways. <laughs> uh, but you, you you look up and down, and in every direction, there's just this endless morning sky. And this huh. feeling of infinite possibility. I need you to re-roll the character. <laughs> <laughs> uh uh, I would like you to make one. I would like you to make one perception check, please. One perception. One check. perception okay. check. I will make one whole perception check because you asked so nicely. It was terrible. Okay. Your vision <laughs> sucks back in, and you are now standing back at the park. And Mara is just kind of like sitting in front of your face, waving a hand in front of your eyes. <laughs> Just... I'm just kind of I just got like blink once, blink twice, blink three times. Huh. Interesting. Mara gives you a hug. <laughs> I think give Mara a hug back. Uh you check your oh. your your watch. It's been half an hour. Oh. <laughs> well that would um that would explain uh why Mara was doing that. Surge's blue screen. Oh, oh no. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Damn. We can't have the whole party here today. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> so, can I assume that this obel that other people in the park are seeing this sky in the obelisk? Or is that just me? Was it just me? You have <laughs> no idea. Uh, you look around. Uh, Everyone seems to be acting normally. No sense uh, of surprise or anything. Interesting. Are we like following Nick on a solo adventure right now? Is that what's happening? Yeah. Yeah, because Adi and Mara fucked off. <laughs> yeah, we spent the last hour and a half in combat, so we're catching up with these two for a moment. <laughs> Seeing what they're doing. Yeah. Sorry, um, uh, you hear footsteps from behind. I turn around. Oh, hello. Can you guys hear me? Uh, hey, yeah, welcome yes. back. All right, cool. Yeah, we can hear you. You see a man. Where is the, is the token even uploaded? <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Well, that's rude. That's incredibly rude. Okay. We're gonna have to get you some fucking um, just throw away tokens, dude. Oh, that's what I that's what I've been doing. The thirty minutes before the session with the two uh, <laughs> encounter tokens. Okay. There it is. A man with dark purple hair, these small glasses, and a round drone uh, with this bright red crystal on one side of it walk up to you. Excuse me, might I have a moment of your time? Maybe. I what would do you like want? to ask you a few questions about Chaos Cubes, if that's okay. I'm a journalist, you see. I'm attempting to Figure out its secrets. Whatever you want to know, I probably don't have any answers for you. Well, I mean, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? My sources tell me that you, you and your perhaps former group, were sent on an errand. What was that errand? Why do you want to know so bad? <laughs> Something about that casino isn't right. I'd like Define. to get to the bottom of it. Define isn't right. Gosh. Are we telling? Are we saying just plain old money laundering or whatever other nonsense happens at your typical CD city casino or something else? 
Hmm. For now, I think it's best that I keep that to myself. I don't want Regina on to me. But you can trust I'm a friend. Adia kind of raises a brow. <laughs> Doubt. Perhaps I should start with an introduction. You may call me Five. <laughs> this is out of character, but where's one, two, three, and four? <laughs> it sounds like the fucking Watergate scandal. You can call don't, me Deep Throat. Don't even, don't even ask about six, man. <laughs> yeah, we fucking six. <laughs> you think I wear six is way out there? <laughs> no, no, no. Try seven. <laughs> seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> Anyways. That's a um interesting name. It's a, a it's 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 a fake name, as you might imagine. I often publish stories about exceedingly dark and shifty individuals. It wouldn't uh -huh. help if they could find my real identity. And Regina is one of them, those individuals. He says nothing and just kind of blinks at you. You get the impression he's trusting you to put the pieces together. <laughs> oh, you kind of. He does like the wool head tilt. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> like the dog head tilt? No, no, no. Like when you're doing MSQ and the wool the... tilts the head during oh. MSQ. The warrior fight <laughs> tilt. <laughs> Yeah, head tilt. <laughs> the unnatural head, head tilt while fucking maintaining eye contact. Yep. Yes, yes, Yep, that, that one. <laughs> that one. The drone uh, whir whirs around Mara and just, just bobs up and down in a friendly motion. <laughs> Does the drone have a name? It seems to have a personality. You may call the drone O. You're just full of creative Five, names, oh, aren't you? Oh, you fucking serious? <laughs> oh my yeah, god, just, I, I, I made that on the spot. I hate myself for that. Oh, I'm just oh. thinking about that. <laughs> You're just full of original names, aren't you? <laughs> Damn it. That was in character. <laughs> this is exactly why I use name generators. Simplic I find simplicity <laughs> is best. Fair enough. Makes you blend into a crowd better. Indeed. Uh, you kind of look at the man. He, you notice he's a little bit sickly. The legs aren't as. Can I do? Can I do like a? Expect, you'd expect. Would that be insight or perception? Uh, make an insight check, actually. Okay. I almost rolled a d30. <laughs> Damn. Oh. How to get a nat 30? 21. 21. Uh, you can tell he's not the most physically fit individual. He, you know, he's he's up and he's walking around. He's able to, you know, maintain himself. Um, but he's not super athletic, and he's lacking a lot of muscle. Uh, so probably uh, actually a journalist is what you're saying. Very potential, yeah. <laughs> he definitely gives off something of a journalist's vibe, but you can tell he's also seen some shit. <laughs> oh, haven't we all? <laughs> Well, I'm not sure how helpful I could be to you, because admittedly, I really don't know that much about the Chaos Cubes or Regina. But I suppose I could help you out as much as I could for the time being. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. All I need is a few questions answered. I don't need any special favors. I wouldn't, All right. wouldn't want to put you out of your way kind of takes out a, an old-fashioned notepad oh uh, my god those don't exist <laughs> something yeah that's very very rarely used what were you sent to retrieve to my knowledge a some sort of construct core i don't know where were you sent Where were we specifically, specifically <laughs> sent to 
the archaeology area or just the general area? I can't remember. Uh, you were sent to the Undercity. Underneath uh, Iron Maiden. <laughs> you don't know how going to say anything. I don't know. I'm just... Y'all good. Y'all good for the popos? <laughs> uh, sit to the, sit to the undercity. Nowhere specific, just in that general area. Around here. Uh huh. <laughs> the law, the law, what? What the? <laughs> Interesting. Did she say what this was for? No. Hmm. I wouldn't expect her to. She barely knows us. Understandable. Uh. Were you given any other what? information? Not, not really. Not yet. Quite honestly, probably have better luck talking to someone else in my group. If they've made it back to the Chaos Cubes by now, I haven't the slightest clue. If it's possible, could you arrange a meeting? I would like to speak with you. <laughs> Adia kind of like sucks at a breath and kind of rolls his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I get the feeling you aren't on the best terms. I suppose you could put it that way. What happened? It's a long story. I have time. I'm sure you do, journalist oh, boy. Who are you on March 18th? <laughs> <laughs> but Adia really out here like, then wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Hmm. Let's, let's just say that... One of them did something I didn't quite agree with, and nobody else tried to step in. Understood. I just needed a little break from the group. Will you be returning to them? I don't know yet. Will you mind wearing this wire and go to them? Well, should you? <laughs> he pulls out an old-fashioned business card and hands it to you. Uh... Reach me at this number. I would like to speak to them. These details are concerning. But I need more information to be sure. All right. I'll think about it. You oh, nods. <laughs> Thank you for your time. He hands, reaches into a pocket, his pocket, hands you 100 credits, and walks away. <laughs> <laughs> Is this like bribery money? <laughs> Said, here's a hundred bucks. Think about it. <laughs> There's more where that came from. <laughs> more where that came from, buddy. Snitch on your friend. The drone yeah, kind of fly. nods to Mara and flies off. You can see my own. You get a whole candy bar with that 100 credit. <laughs> <laughs> Already kind of. Looks at the business card, looks at the credits, and kind of looks where the man went, and is like, "All right," kind of like that that face of like, "Um, okay, that was a little weird." Puts, puts the business. He doesn't put the business business card in his pocket like he does the thing where you like put it in your shirt, like in your bra. Oh yeah, he yeah. just puts it in his shirt. I don't, I don't think he has pockets. I don't know why. I think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> He puts, it, he, puts it, he puts it in his cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Alright. Well, what would you like to do? Shit, dude. Me God, too. He kinda, he kinda, kinda looks at Mara and is like, shit, dude. Mara, you wanna Mara's go got like that. You wanna rejoin the group? <laughs> Mara's got that hand on finger thinking pose. Or hand on chin thinking pose. Like the thinker. Narrowed yeah. eyes. Do you think we should trust that dude? Quite honestly. Uh roll insight for Mara, trust. please. For Mara or f so for Mara. Mara's insight or Mara's okay. insight. <laughs> okay. I wanna I, I wanna see what kind of read Mara's got here. 
Fuck, what is Mara's? She's usually pretty good at reading people, so this should be interesting. So, should be a plus. Four. 22! <laughs> Twenty-two. Google find Cyber Panther repair shops. <laughs> There's a mechanic shop two miles away from you. <laughs> uh, with a twenty-two, Mara's like Mara takes a second, looks at the drone, looks to you, gives you a thumbs up, just like not with a smile, but just a very stern thumbs up. So you think he's trustworthy, but we should still keep our guard up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> All right. Um, you hear in your mind. He's mostly telling the truth. Isn't that how it is with most people? <laughs> They're only telling half truths, or maybe most Thank of the truth, Sherry. if anything at all. Bar drugs. <laughs> Do you want to go back to the group? Mara thinks size I mean don't want to write them off yet most of them are okay <laughs> most of them the animals <laughs> <laughs> the animals <laughs> I miss Baku I want to see if Luna's okay I suppose we could try to meet up with them at the Chaos Cube. <sighs> you know we weren't supposed to get attached to other people, right? It was supposed to just be you and me. Just you and I. Mara shrugs. <laughs> I know. I said I wouldn't. Life's a bitch. It's not your fault. I guess we can only go but so long in isolation. Uh -oh. Gives you a hug. <laughs> That then immediately <laughs> gives you a nookie. <laughs> we we had a moment. <laughs> we were having a moment and you just went and ruined it. <laughs> just like hangs upside down and just like Yes, <laughs> hold on. I'm trying to decide what I want. <laughs> we were having a moment and you just went and ruined it. This is why we can't have nice things, Mara. <laughs> <laughs> she just grins. <sighs> Yeah, Adi like picks his bridge of his nose. <laughs> <sighs> I suppose we'll go back to the Chaos Cubes. Because okay. I imagine that they have to at least be part of the way back. Meanwhile, at the Chaos Cubes. Oh, we're going to, I thought we were going to the repair shop first. Uh, are you going to the repair shop first? Let's get the story done first. We can handle it. If you want to go to the repair okay. shop first, go by all means. No, no, I want my money so that I can pay for the family. <laughs> <laughs> you know like what? Have money. Money. That's fair. Keep in mind, I you were know. already paid for this, though. Yeah, we haven't rested either. Long. You were you were paid in information. Exactly. So. Ah. Let's just. I want my information. That's right. You haven't gotten it yet. You insisted on getting the job done first. Yeah. So, walking back into chaos cubes. The, oh, first, shit. the first thing you hear upon entering is fucking dog shit piece of crap! <laughs> this Whoa. game is rigged from the other side of the casino. You see that there's very low luck in Chaos Cubes today. Thanks, Mom. Roll immediately has Sacred Flame ready and then realizes that someone just thrown a fit and put it away. <laughs> Roll is on edge right now. <laughs> Regina walks up to the front desk. Uh, it's kind of <laughs> off to the side. And... Let's see. Uh, what well, looks up to the... To the man that you were talking with before, the last time you were here. He's like, oh, um, uh, 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 uh Lady Astra. Welcome back. Thank you, David. I'm returning with our guests to see Regina. Uh, uh, uh of course. He just kind of oh, stays person. out of the way as Astra looks to all of you, motions you to follow. 
I'm gonna look at David and be like, David, what did I tell you about relaxing? I, I, he like, he's eat the yeah. second, actually, uh, make an insight check roll. Insight? Insight. I'm like, make an insight check. You gotta be fucking kidding me. What'd you get? I got a five, but I got an eight total. Eight total? It was, it was, it was on fucking 18, and then I was like, ah, Aww. just kidding. That's the worst. Uh, I mean, the, he appears to just be even more tense than before, somehow. <sighs> I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm trying. You're, I, I, you're, I, you're I, doing I, it again. You're, you're doing it I, again. I, 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 David, <laughs> David, <laughs> David. <laughs> David, he looks up relax. to you. <laughs> Take a death. Oh no, David, there's a stain on your shirt. Whoa, 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 as you both walk past, you just see David oh, yeah, trying to find the stain, very visibly <laughs> sweating. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> uh, I'm an asshole. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. Let's see. You know what? Let's let's roll. Let's uh. Let's roll a d6. Let's have a little fun here. Uh oh. I like. Fun. David pulls out a gun and shoots me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Um. Actually, I would like everyone to pick a number between one and three, please. Uh, three. Three. Two. Two? Okay. All right. Three. So, roll. Well, uh, as everyone's walking, you see a middle-aged man with a thick beard full of man. crumbs, a uh, jacket stained a little bit. It smells decent, but smells like way too much booze walks up to you and uh is very laser focused on you keep my eyes forward and keep walking following the group he attempts to intercept you and swing his arm around you i would like you to make an uh athletics or acrobatic checks to escape a grapple again did it again nine no that's okay the man's drunk off of his butt and got a uh Total one. He. I'm going. To, I'm going to when, when I see his arms wrapped around me. I'm just going to duck low so his arms go over my and then maybe he stumbles a bit and I just keep walking. He I, he full on trips, uh, and crashes into the ground behind you. I don't look back. I just keep on walking. Uh, you actually notice security is immediately in, around him, picking him up by the arms and dragging him to the entrance. Uh, is he shutting? No, wait, babe, come back. We can be happy together. <laughs> just keep fucking walking. I'm in the back. I'm, and like, you, you, you see, you see Roll, like, her left hand is shaking. Like, she really wants to cast Sacred Flame on him. You see, just like edge. the Sacred Flame being formed. And like, each, but she just relaxes and keeps walking. Like I said, she's on edge right now. Asterix turns and gives a bow. I apologize. You want to <laughs> You know what I learned in life, Astrid? We need acknowledge shit like that. When you don't acknowledge shit like that, life just becomes so much more easier. So just keep on walking. Hmm. You have a very different approach. She turns and continues walking. She <laughs> Good thing she doesn't know I work at. I used to work at a fucking church. Uh, Aaron. Actually, everybody notices that. Uh, as she turns, her hand lets go of her rapier <laughs> what uh as the guards are taking the man away Get oh, the pressure. Just... she was she was uh <laughs> she was ready man you you save a girl from a shelf and she's going to try to defend you that's cool uh How much... <laughs> good, no continue <laughs> wait what she really said she'll, she really said i'll defend her honor <laughs> <laughs> My lady. My lady. My lady. Uh, you all enter the elevator and return to the top floor uh, and eventually make your way to the same glass office and find Regina sitting and waiting for you. 
the same glass walls, all sorts of marker drawings and pictures have now been taped to it. Uh, kind of like one of those conspiracy boards, but you, as you look, there's a little bit of logic to it. It's almost like a to-do list. Just complicated. I let Aaron take the lead. Well, I want Aaron to take the lead, I should say. I have no idea what's going on. You're going to need to take the lead. Uh, Ash just steps into the office first uh, and takes the core out of a bag and places it on the counter. My lady, you have retrieved your item. Wonderful. Oh, fantastic. I knew I could count on all of you. What this board looks like. Yes. Yep. 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 But with logic. Yep. But with lo uh, but with actual logic instead of conspiracy bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I am very impressed. Oh fuck. Ah, uh, ask later. I knew you'd be uh. reliable allies. Now, would you like that information? I promised. Yes. I'll have you know I appreciate what you did. I have a little bit of more information for you. Before you before you give us that information. Of course. Perhaps you should have uh, elaborated on uh, why people wanted why people were following us. Regina raises we an eyebrow. We were followed by a group of what the fuck was it, four or five? Four. I think it was four. We were uh, confronted by a group of four bounty hunters. They knew exactly where we were going, or they knew exactly where we were at, and uh, they confronted us, and they specifically named you and recognized Astrid. I know a lot of people have enemies here at the, uh, at the city, this hellhole, but having any... Maybe you should have told us that you had some enemies that were looking for the exact same thing we were looking for. Kind of thinks for a moment. I wasn't aware I had enemies. I mean, I know people have a hard time getting along with my personality. I point. I point at Cohen <laughs> for his moon. Like, do you have enemies? Many. <laughs> <laughs> Many enemies. Kind of. Regina looks to you, Cohen. Fascinating. I'd love to hear about these enemies one day. But, turns back to you, Roll. As for your question, it's entirely possible they're after the project that we've been working on. If there's been an information leak, then I have no doubt that several of the high houses would be after what we're working on. Trying to, trying to get in bed with the Inquisition? Kind of glances to uh, Astra and then looks back to Roll. I see my assistant has filled you in. Well, I kind of saved her from a shelf, so she did give me a little bit of information. A shelf, you say? Well, that sounds gonna... like quite the elaborate tale. I, I'm not going to tell her that she was hiding underneath the shelf. I'm just going to say a shelf and leave it at that. Regina bows. They did save me from the Avatar of Death. It was significantly stronger than I had anticipated. Well, then I'm glad I sent them after you. So, yes, I do have a contract with the Inquisition to create a new construct for it. I figured a Phoenix Era core would help serve to boost potential options in the future. I've got a few other errands if you would like to assist. They pay well, help complete this contract in reasonable time. I had to talk. You had to talk to our little puppy friend. You'll be here for that one. <laughs> it looks to you, uh, Aaron. If you're interested, I can of course give you the information on the House Ortwin, and we can be on our merry way. That would be nice. I have a Cyber Panther to repair. Ah. Yep. I do know a excellent mechanic. How if you'd like drug? me to call in a favor. You know, I'll take that favor right now. We seem to be losing friends and party members left and right. <laughs> so, House Ortwin is 
been working out of a warehouse nearby. I was unsure of what they'd been working on, though after doing a little bit of digging, it seems like they've been getting into developing androids. Uh, they may have contracted a group of mercenaries to take the core from you to help in their own research. We've employed a few androids of our own here at the casino for security reasons. If there is one thing I am somewhat well known for, it is android production and design. Perhaps House, House Orchman knew this and decided to make a move. They are known for getting into rather shady dealings. She pulls up a window, moves around a couple of commands, and each of you see a window pop up. Uh, the Iron Haven map. Go ahead and grab a snip here really fast for everybody. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. The Mad Guard factory was abandoned until recently. I imagine it's House Orchwin that's about to go up and running again. If any documentation you find there won't be under the House Orchwin name, they've used a dummy corporation. Which is why it was so hard to track them down initially. But I imagine you might be able to find some information or a lead on whatever you've been looking for looks at you, Aaron. And as for the mechanic, there is a... It's a bit out of the way. But... A mechanic in Gyok is someone I'm very well acquainted with. They'll be able to help. It sends you the location of that uh, mechanic shop as well. You say Yoth? Gyoth. 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 I'm fucking blind. Uh, the Gyoth. very upper, the, the, the very upper right corner. Ah, ah, yes. Oh, okay. even it is near the Hagashikami Manor. Oddly enough. Holy fuck, that is quite the ways that we need it to go. Is, it is a significant <laughs> Holy distance. Holy shit. Yeah. We are at the Chaos Cube. Yeah. Yep. All the way back. All the way across Iron Haven. <laughs> this is a family mechanic? Oh my god, that's it, far. It is a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Alright. Thank you all for your assistance. Does anybody else have any questions? I would like to know if we have a spot we can sleep or rest for the day, because... For a long rest? As, yeah, because I'm tapped. As she, as she says that, her left hand is visibly shaking. I'm afraid we don't have any rooms here at Chaos Cubes. Well, I wasn't asking about Chaos Cubes. So I was asking about any inns nearby. Most of the inns in this area are rather expensive, but there are a number of hotels across the border in Tournament City. Uh, Ash returns to you. I'm afraid my lady can't be bothered with lesser establishments. I don't even look at her. <laughs> <laughs> this awkward silence falls over the room. I'm not even gonna justify that with the response. No, nope. she knows. She knows that she lied. Try to make herself look good. So I'm not gonna justify anything she says with the response anymore. Well, I am a busy woman, and if that's all that you require, I'm going to get back to work. She kind of turns and starts typing away. Uh, all right. Astro kind of motions, takes a bow and motions for you to exit. Please. Uh, is there a shelf nearby? There a is. shelf? There is a there shelf is. nearby. I'm going to look at Astrid and then look at the shelf 
and I'm gonna look at her and say, "That looks pretty comfy, doesn't it?" No, <laughs> you're stupid. Regina kind of turns briefly in the chair. Astra does not seem phased in the slightest. I walk out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you are Astra escorts you back to the entrance of the casino. You hear another "Damn it!" from the back. <laughs> That sounds like a lot of credits being lost here in Chaos Cubes today. The odds of winning here are unique. That was that was out of character, by the way. Sorry. I should have said that. No, oh, not. Nah. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, some some passerby walks up to, to Ash and is like, hey, what are the odds to like win here? And he's like, the odds to win here are unique. I guarantee you with enough time and effort, you will Perception check. <laughs> Be victorious in your effort. Yeah, go ahead, make a perception check. Ah, finally, 21. 21. Uh, what are you looking for? Are you just looking around? I just No, I just want to see if she's lying. Uh, that's insight, sorry, that's, sorry. That's, sorry. Yeah, it, that is, that is oh, insight. Sorry, I'm going to roll like shit now, watch. <laughs> uh, 16. 16? She's... Not lying! Okay, so this this is not a shady establishment, it's just the percent owns it is shady. The percentile odds may or may not be unique. <laughs> <laughs> As you look around and nobody's winning. <laughs> takes a couple of minutes, you see one guy in the corner go, Yeah! Oh, yes! <laughs> just kind of this confused, maybe this is a good thing. <laughs> Uh, you head back to the entrance, and David is still sweating. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm, 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 take some breath. I just, give take, him, take, take. I just give him a wave. I don't want to fuck with him no more. <laughs> it's kind of sad. He's a bubbling mess as you all walk out. <laughs> you can't. It's hard to bully him when he, his life is just so hard as it is. I, I I gave him a little tease, and then I saw what I when it came to. I was like, oh man. Uh, you see, Arya and Mara waiting outside. Ah. Huh? <laughs> what was that noise? Ah. Huh? <laughs> it's okay. Use your words. Uh, Mara is currently uh, petting Baku. I like run and lift up Adi and give him a big ol' hug. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Adi, like, and his eyes go wide for like a split second because he was not expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you too? <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> the little lord has returned to us. <laughs> the little <A> lord. <laughs> I'm taller than you! Yes, but you're younger than me, so you're little. You don't know that. <laughs> I can smell it on you. <laughs> I, can sm I can smell your age. <laughs> no, you can't. It's weird. <laughs> Nobody here actually knows Adi's age. <laughs> I don't think no one knows each other's age. Hmm. No. Aaron? Yeah. Make a perception check with advantage oh using your smell. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Using your smell. Uh, Using your keen sense. This is, gonna, this is a high DC, but fuck it. How do I roll no. perception? Just just click on perception. Smell the teenager. Oh, no, you're, not, you're not using a... It's D20 plus 4, right? Uh, double checking. Yes, it is plus 4. I'll just roll a D20 and add 4 to it. That one. 17. Roll again. Again? You have, you have yeah, advantage. advantage. You have advantage. You have advantage. Nineteen. Nineteen. Without saying the exact age, how old relatively is Adia? Uh. <laughs> Say like younger. Or at least or older. younger than twenty. Younger or older? <laughs> younger. younger? He's, he's, he, he is younger. I don't know how Aaron, old Aaron is. So just, oh. I'm like, I don't care how old I am. I'm like fucking 26, bro. <laughs> so what'd you say? He's weird. He's, he's younger. Here, I, I, that's all you can yeah. really kind of get. Yeah. I 
can smell the youth on you. Smell the, smell the youth. <laughs> the traumatized youth. <laughs> All right. But I know these things because of who I am. <laughs> uh huh. And you guys will find that out later, but just trust me. I know. <laughs> I Anyways, know when I can you please put me down? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like it's like a simple motion. I just like up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like his feet make perfect contact with the ground, and I let him go. God, he doesn't even like have words to like form after that. He's kind of like brushes himself off, just like moving on. <laughs> moving off from this awkward. Yeah, moment. from that. <laughs> Worry not, Lord Adia. Your secret's safe with me. Lord oh, Adia. What Lord secret? Lighter. You're lighter than you look. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, you kind of looks at Mara. And, like, he doesn't say it, but, he, like, you can see on his face, he's thinking, man, we shouldn't have came back. <laughs> <laughs> Ma- Mara's just content, just, like, hiding behind Baku. <laughs> Mara, only, Mara only cares about Baku. Fuck everybody if else. Physically, if I could physically hug Mara, I could. I mean, you could, technically. Yeah. This is a matter of if she'd let you. <laughs> You could certainly try. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Roll athletics to hug. Athletics plus four. If Mara no. dodges at athletics or acrobatics to dodge. Nope. <laughs> You're not dodging a 19 plus four. <laughs> oh god, do I need to roll something? Does, Ma- does Mara resist? This is the first question. No, actually. <laughs> Mara gets hugged. Yeah. It's been her. pretty chill, actually. Far hugs back. I just had to make a big deal out of it. <laughs> Mara loves it. It, t- it takes a second. Mara's like, no, this is fine. Hug. <laughs> oh my god, he's touch starved. <laughs> Ma- Mara then just does a raspberry right in your face. <laughs> I just gotta do a playful one back. Like it's like a it's like a handshake. It's like yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. At least we can count on Aaron. <laughs> All right, we are going home. <laughs> I'm we're, tired. We're going on one hell of an adventure. Go to so, the shop tomorrow. so where did Aaron's girlfriend send y'all off to this time? Uh, warehouse. Oh, wait, we're actually and, taking that job. And where is the house? It's not a job per se. Oh, yeah, the uh, fucking what the fuck is it? The madhouse factory. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Apparently, whatever, the- whatever. Aaron's looking for is in that factory, and that's where we're gonna go next, but... Thou does not have to pursue me on my journey. This is for personal reasons. If thou wants to depart from me... Why are you talking like that? Why are you talking like that? Don't worry about it. (laughs) Mara just... tilts her head like, what? What are you fucking talking about? (laughs) Your companionship has been much appreciated up until this point. But if you guys want to do your own thing, that's fine by me. Mara hugs Luna. What, whatever comes next is of my own. Well, uh, granted. Granted, me and Mara just did our own thing for the past however long. So if we cared about continuing doing our own thing, we wouldn't have even came back. I came with you this far. Why would I leave now? Yeah. I don't know, Roll. Why would you do anything? Mara gives Roll the finger. I have my, I have okay. my reasons. Uh, give me a second. Ugh. Ow! <laughs> roll, you hear something. Uh oh. The party hears something, but roll specifically, this sends a tingle down your spine. The screeching sound of a nightmarish 
beast. Horrific in stance. You! Oh, oh no. No. <laughs> oh, no. You dare show your face around here again? Oh. I thought you were fired. Oh, yeah, I just got fired. I, I don't know what to do. I'm starving. Please, can you lend me some credits? And as I slowly back away. Take a deception check. Uh, 20. 20? <laughs> Dirty 20. Serves you right. She starts marching up to you, trying to get nose no, to nose with you. Please, oh, you've you <laughs> done so much damage. I'm fucking trying to tell everyone, let's go. Let's <laughs> fucking go. Where are we? We You're all, right we all, outside we all of lost, cubes. We all lost our jobs, and now we're homeless, and we have no way to support ourselves, and we're starving. <clears throat> please, ma'am, can you please lend us some credit? I'm saying this as I'm backing away. <laughs> She's, like, keeping pace with you, trying to keep, stay in your face. You deserve him. nothing but the streets after what you did to me. Uh, oh, please. is this the lady we got kicked out of the club? Yes. Yes. We're Aaron, we're trying to leave. Get Baku ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I? What, what would I do? Um, I'm, 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 hand? Can, can I? I want. Okay. Okay. Hear me out. Okay. I want Mara <laughs> to come up behind the lady and pull her shirt like over her head. <laughs> <laughs> Stealthily <laughs> or just. Do it. Just, just, I just, just do it. I just want her to just do it. Make a roll. Oh boy, roll a d20 and add strength or dex, your choice. Can she get a? Um, what does she have more of? of? Can she get advantages of dex? Oh, strength? both are the, both are the same. So. All right, just yeah, roll a d20 and add. Can she get? Can she get an advantage of distracting her? Well. Yes, oh, actually, I will it. say yes. You are keeping okay, her full so attention. Again. Yeah, roll, roll again. Right. Nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> you yank Mara takes the dress, digs the claws in, yanks it up and over. Uh she's now in her undergarments. <laughs> You're in the middle of the street. Mara's just kind of twirling the dress over and just doing this. Break for it. Mara throws the dress right at the woman before she can say anything. I like. I rush everybody onto the Baku. I'm like, get on! Get on down! Get on down! Get to the I'm sheep. gonna get you all! You're gonna be locked up for the rest of your life! Just the pains into the distance as Baku sprints away. Anya is like barely containing laughter. Like he has a mouth oh, clamped, my really? hand clamped over his mouth, like snigger. <laughs> Mara, uh, Mara, actually, you notice still has pieces of the dress on uh, her claws. <laughs> <laughs> Just starts taking them off and uh, hands them to you, Adia. <sighs> what am I supposed to do with <laughs> She shrugs. <laughs> <laughs> she shrugs, takes point, them back, and pockets them. At that point, Adia loses it. Snorts <laughs> <laughs> and just starts laughing. <laughs> All right. Uh, who would like to make, take the lead in looking for a motel? What do I roll? Uh, investigation. I'll, I'll make it. one as well. Oh, fuck. Sure. Investigation. 14. Uh, are you in the hotel? Yeah. Yeah. That's just the flat beat one. And now, yeah, how... Go. What's the price range you're looking for? Uh, livable. <laughs> livable. Fair enough. Right. doesn't have screaming women in it. <laughs> We'll go back to old reliable if we have to. <laughs> that, is a, that is a distance. What's holiday this? Inn? Oh, that's the fucking mom. Never mind. A holiday inn? Well, you know, just, you know, what kind of level of hotel? Holiday inn level? <laughs> or something cheaper. Motel what? 6 level. <laughs> Maybe fucking uh, my house level. Okay. Um, with a 14, it it takes you about an hour or so, and you find a place that's decently okay. It looks a little rickety. Uh, it seems like, you know, the stonework is, needs some patching, and the interior needs redecorating. Uh, it's run by a kind older gentleman, though. He's like, you just need a couple of rooms? I've got two available. Yes. Who's bunking with who? 
I want to bond with Aaron. I would say I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure Roll gets the fucking idea that uh, Aria and fucking. Well, Roll uh, probably get. You're your female, right? Yeah. Obviously, you but, we're, but we're all friends here. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> Or well, nah. we're mostly all friends here. Mara's like, obsessively clinging to Aaron. Yeah, I'm pretty, <laughs> sure Roll, I'm pretty sure Roll can read the room that Adia and, uh, and fucking, I keep forgetting that second Mara. room. Mara. <laughs> that they're not on good terms right now. So he's like, I will roll to whoever. With whoever you pick, I'll roll with the other, per I'll room with the other person. She doesn't say it, but she can read the room. Do you should the rooms have like separate beds? Um, Three beds of, per room. Each of them have two beds. Okay, then yeah. Just do Adia and Aaron and then Colin and Roll. He says there's sorry, something I want to ask sorry, Colin. I'm sorry, I'm eating Dairy Queen. <laughs> oh, that sounds fucking delicious. They just Ooh. built one across the street from my house. Damn, nice. Lucky. Unfortunate Lucky. that I'm moving away in a week. Oh, <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> I'll write you guys' name so much I can stop fucking forgetting. I honestly put the party in my, um... What's that bitch called? My uh, allies list. Okay. Not a bad idea. Alright. So you go ahead and take your rooms. Settle down for the night. Aaron, Adia, and Mara. Yo. And Cohen, if you're in that room, depending on your choice or not. I think Cohen is fucking with a uh, roll. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you hear sounds of high pitched giggling and laughter through the wall. <laughs> like, like teenage laughter. Like, like teenage, <laughs> like like teenage girl laughter. Okay. Um, and it persists throughout the night. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, roll and Cohen. You hear the sound of thumping furniture. Oh no! <laughs> Are we sure it's furniture? It's oh. erratic and not. Oh that. no! It's more angry than anything. There that's is some muffled. The there, there is the sounds of screaming as well. Hey, you don't know what BDSM people are into. Uh, look, I don't judge, but I don't want to be. I don't want to be an audience member. Yeah. Unfortunately, that also persists throughout the night. <laughs> this motherfucker has I think Aaron man. and Adia lucked out. <laughs> uh, there, occasionally, both rooms will hear the sound of shattering glass. Oh my god. Eventually, however, you all get a long rest. There this is, is a... no peace for me because I can hear all of this no matter where I'm at. This is a Motel 6. Aaron, in addition, because of your hearing. Yes, I hear everything. <laughs> you also... <laughs> Well, you don't hear it as much as smell it. The place smells oh. horrific. I like wrap a towel around my snow. Like this <laughs> smells like shame in here. It smells <laughs> like shame in here. <laughs> but eventually, the more at one point, audio you know. puts a pillow over his head. Yep. Mara just eventually like runs around, exits the room in the middle of the night while everyone's asleep. Bangs on the door to the teenage <laughs> girls. They open it up, and Mara gives them the spook of their lives. Aaron and Adia are, at one point in the night, woken up to the sounds of screaming and terror. They see Mara is missing, put two and two together, and go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> I know, I'm not a for that. You can all take a yeah. You were all considered having like a long rest up. <laughs> Wonderful. I like. Yay, drag myself, I drag myself out of bed. I'm like, this is the worst place ever. <laughs> this is the shittiest place ever. Oh, I yes, give them. Up. I give them two stars on Yelp. <laughs> hmm. Audience oh, sits up and he I like. His hair is like literally a rat's nest. That's how shitty he's lived. <laughs> uh, have a audio roll performance for Mara, please. Oh God. <laughs> I don't know. 
What's your charisma? Of? Is her charisma negative? No. Oh, she has no charisma modifier. Never mind. Wow. A three. <laughs> you wake up to burned biscuits and toast. Oh no! <laughs> it would appear Mara has attempted to cook something and has Mara, failed. Please, please don't pull a venom two on me. <laughs> Mara looks at the plate, shrugs, tosses them up into the air, and eats them all in one gulp. Adia just sighs. <laughs> <laughs> tosses Where's the, the plate over one shoulder. Where's the long rest button? Uh, the long rest button. It's at the top. Just, the campfire. Or yeah. not the moon, sorry, yeah. Just the moon, yeah. What? The moon button <laughs> at the top. At the ending beyond. What? I'm like so blind. Oh, I cannot sign in. That's why. Oh. <laughs> Here, let me just my, hit that button page. for you. Yeah. It's okay, no, I got this. Okay, now I'm gonna sign in. Okay. Well it the day the day is now yours. There it is, long rest. Ooh. Thank God, I feel better. Roll gets up and her left hand is not fucking shaking anymore. Adia is um dealing with the rat's nest that is his hair right now, <laughs> combing through that shit, ignoring whatever nonsense Mara's up to currently. It's too early for that shit. <laughs> Aaron, with your hearing, you can hear some kind of spat going on two floors above you. I, I'm gonna. <laughs> I like, I like get up and draw my sword. I'm gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> Audio kind of like, <laughs> he kind of like pulls his scythe out, and hands it to Aaron, like <laughs> go for it. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna commit a war crime. <laughs> We need to get this poor dude some fucking, like, earplugs. <laughs> God, I hate the city. Sleeping outside is infinitely better. <laughs> Maybe we'll find no, a No, I'm not somewhere. a big fan of the city, either. How do you all sleep like this? I used to live in the cathedral, so that's how. You say that, and the city is 90% city. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, so I want to get my panther repaired first. Okay. Well, y'all meet up at the lobby, I'm assuming? Mm hmm. Hey, Raz, how you spell Cohen? Uh, K O E N. K O E N, okay. Cohen? Cohen with a K, but if you put the E in front of N. <laughs> yeah. Alright, how do you spell Adia? A D Y A. A D Y A. Don't ask me how to smell Mara. You should be able to figure that one out. <laughs> Myra? M I R A? Mira? Where'd you get the I? <laughs> it's M A R A. Oh. M A R A. Alright. Just writing our names in the death. Mm -hmm. No. Do I then give him Adia's full name? <laughs> I just need the first name. So I can stop forgetting. Yeah, yeah, Baku's name. There is the yes, Baku. You'll be in the book too. <laughs> there is this comforting sounds of Baku being oddly content from outside the hotel. That sheep could sleep through a hurricane. <laughs> There's also the sounds of excited children. I've through several sandstorms. I am so good with this. Excited children. Do you have some children fucking with your sheep, Aaron? Today's the day, bitches die. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Mara Mar hops up, like, I, like kind of like rearing to go, asking for permission to scare the children. <laughs> Which I can just picture fucking. I can just picture Myra just fucking throwing like little shadow boxing. Just <laughs> uh, kind of looks at Aaron and then looks at Mark. <laughs> uh, I like go outside. You see a group of four children, roughly nine or ten, petting and respectfully brushing Baku. Oh, okay. I'll allow this. 
Fucking love <laughs> I can't stick I with like, flame. No, I'm just I like wow! I walk up to the children and like look down at them. And I'm just like, mm. <laughs> Don't say anything. Acceptable. <laughs> they are slightly stop rushing and are slightly intimidated for a moment. Baku then gives one of them a lick and they go back to being enamored by the giant sheep. It all just own giant sheep. It's like, no. wow, so fluffy. They're melting into the <laughs> into the fluff. Well. So you are currently awake. Uh, I, it takes like 10 minutes for Adi to tame his hair, but eventually he does get up. Do I have rations? <laughs> Do I have rations? Um, check inventory. Where's my I, inventory? It does the same. I thought we all got rations. No, I don't think so. Can I? I want to take a, a couple of seconds while, <laughs> I'm waiting for, while I'm waiting for uh, Cohen and look at that exhausted red, red type 10. Uh, crystal that I got from the underworld or under whatever the you're, fuck. You're gonna investigate the exhausted type then? Yes. Oh, right. Uh, remind me of the color of it. Red. Red. Okay. Uh, because I believe you'd actually identified it already. Oh, did I? Yeah. Uh, I just hadn't given you the actual spell that was contained inside of it yet. Oh, okay. Uh, so let me go ahead and pull that up really fast. Uh, and while that's happening, uh, go ahead and continue. Along the plan. Uh, does that mean we have to roll a D100 because we're traveling? Uh, yes, actually. <laughs> Whose turn is it for the D100? Who wants Fuck. to be the holder of the D100? I think we started over and I think Aaron went last time he rolled a D100. Yeah. So I think next is. Oh, who, who's all? Oh, is it my turn for the group? Oh, shit. I, I believe so because I think it's Aaron, you, and then, then uh, Raz, and then me. Okay. Yeah. D100! Yeah, nice! Oh my god. Oh, nice. nice! Sir, this is the spell that's contained within. You may share that or hide that as you will. <laughs> How fucking fitting. That's why I hope this number has a lot of sex jokes in it. I'll be disappointed. <laughs> uh, let me double check, but 69 is the table. We better be going to a brothel. <laughs> okay, now this is somewhat fitting. This is somewhat fitting. All right, so traveling along the road with Baku, Holy you actually end up passing along the gates of the uh, Hagishikami Manor. You don't go in, you kind of look, it's fine. It's been a long journey on the back of Baku. It's been comfy, but even comfy chairs can get tired after a while. Two hours of yes. sitting is not great for you. Uh, yes. Eventually, however, a young adult a young woman uh smaller in size than you'd think with black feathered wings um is kind of pacing in front of the manor it's not the same kid it's somebody different different young adult uh and she's <sighs> looks to all of you and runs up to baku not threateningly but kind of desperate and <clears throat> with a pleading look in her eyes uh, can, can I, I need some help, please. Please, can you help me? What's the matter? I, uh, well, I see, I've got a, I've got a date tonight. Um, and I, I, I need a dress. So you need help picking a dress? Yeah, I need help picking a dress. I also need help making a dress. Like, I, I'd like Eight. to be custom made, but it's a little short notice. Fuck it, why not? Sure. <laughs> We're gonna help Fuck this it, kid go to prom. I, I, I've We're got the materials in my bag, um, if that helps. Fuck it, sure kid, let's make you a dress. What do you want? I'm gonna be some good Samaritans. Okay, <laughs> she starts pulling out various materials and scraps of cloth. It, There's a very elegant royal purple to this material. It's very silky and smooth. You can tell this is very high quality materials. What kind of dress did you have in mind? Like, you want a short dress? You want a long dress? You want something Talk elegant? Something cute? Um, something short and cute. Short and cute. All right. 
<laughs> I'd get like a pen and paper and I start doodling. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> okay, make a make a roll of twenty and add your dexterity. I have no dexterity. Why uh, would you do this to me? I uh, have uh, wisdom. <laughs> this should be interesting. Yeah, yeah fuck it. I'm gonna help. I'm gonna doodle through. I'm a I'm a help. I'm a also doodle. Okay. Boom. Nineteen. Sixteen. You both come up with very elaborate sketches of what the dress is going to look like. She compares the two of them, makes some points, and eventually you get to a single design that is well sketched and well thought out. That's going to help a lot. Uh, who would All like right. to take the lead in sewing the dress together? As she oh God. randomly <laughs> pulls a sewing machine out of a bag that she's been holding. You get the sense <laughs> it's a bag of holding of some kind. <laughs> All right, so who wants to test their sewing ability? <laughs> uh, this will also be D20 plus Dex. Plus Dex? Oh, I have shit Raz, have you ever drawn lace? That's what it's like. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I guess I'll try. It was my idea. At 16 again. <laughs> 16. Can it's I it's... assist him? Can I give him, like, some... Yeah, uh, I, I, is everybody assisting? <laughs> sure. Okay. I will say roll with uh, advantage, Adia. What? We're rolling with advantage. All roll right. Advantage. How would I? I'm trying. Oh God, no! <laughs> well, I'm gonna take that 15 instead. Ooh. <laughs> uh, you take about an hour or so, gathering materials. Everybody kind of pointing it out, guiding each other through the process. Uh, oh, party bonding moment. <laughs> party bonding party moment. It moment. takes about an hour <laughs> or so, and. Eventually, you manage to complete what you've sketched. Fucking uh, picture will be like, remember, guys, measure twice, cut once. Yep. And you do. <laughs> uh, you, with that very detailed sketch and some very good measurements, uh, you manage to successfully make the dress. And she holds it close, looks at it, and goes, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Here, let me... Just starts patting herself down. Ah, here we go. Hands you a bag. Uh, you open it up. It's got a thousand credits in it. Oh. You're welcome, kid. Good luck on your date. Thank you. Have Thank fun. You. Thank you. Not I'll let you know fun, how though. it goes. <laughs> okay. Have fun. <laughs> Not too much fun, though. Remember, okay. kid, make him work for it. What? <laughs> Don't! <laughs> no, no, no. Ro didn't say that. <laughs> that was all. That was all me. <laughs> no good Christians. Having fun of the cloth. The bubble of the cloth. <laughs> <laughs> the the cloth. <laughs> oh, so who who did she give? Did she give the credits to all of us or just one of us? Uh, she hands it to you, uh, Arya, with the understanding that you'll hopefully distribute it among the group. I don't care. I'm assuming it. that's what we were doing. Okay. You want to keep yeah. the whole thousand, I don't give a shit. I mean, I, I was going to distribute it regardless, so. Everyone gets 250? Yeah. Okay. Man, and it's you, totally you, fair. <laughs> even roll? Well, roll still helps. <laughs> All right. Adia may be mad at her, but he's not going to stiff her. <laughs> Roll looks, roll looks surprised, but says thank you. Adia glares yeah. at the transaction, but just respects Adia's decision. <laughs> uh, and with that, you climb on Baku and continue your journey. Oh yeah, we helped him go with her fucking date. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's our good deed of the day. Time to go kill people and <laughs> <laughs> Now it's time to ruin it. Now it's wow. Time to ruin our good fortune. After another 30 minutes of travel, you <laughs> arrive. You said 250, right? Yes. Okay, just making sure I did the math right. Stop it. Do you think that kid was in high school? I mean, no she one other than She's definitely younger than me. She can either be in high school or middle school. I mean, middle school have dances too. Well, she said she was going on a date, though. Oh, she's going on a date. Well, she has to be in high school then, because middle schoolers don't know what dates are. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I pet Aaron. I know you don't. Shut up. <laughs> it's okay, Aaron. I didn't either. 
<laughs> okay. So. When you grow up in the waste, you don't know what dates are. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you all eventually arrive at this, at the, the given address. And you find a factory. Oh, this is music at all on this. The factory <clears throat> has had its shutter door ripped open. I thought we were going to. Uh, you were. D yep. This, you are at that location. Oh, okay. You said factory, and I thought. Oh uh, yeah. House. It is a factory-looking location. You get. The, it is still small enough to kind of be a mechanic shop. Okay. Uh, with a person-sized hole ripped open into what appears oh. to be like a, a garage door. Oh. Shitty, this isn't the entrance. It uh, looks like the only way in. I like lift this Luna's body uh, off of my off of Baku. Okay. <laughs> you are now holding on to the body. Let's go. All right. Do you go in through the hole? The hole in the building. Yep. Yep. Okay. You enter the hole, and it is pitch black <laughs> inside. Does anybody have dark vision? God, I love when people have dark vision. <laughs> Watch this, this is the one time that a full group doesn't have dark vision. That would be funny. I have dark vision. I don't. What, what would be under? Racial traits? Yes. Uh, features and traits, yeah. Yeah, I don't have dark vision. I have dark vision. I think Aaron might be the only one with dark vision. Woo! I'm choking it player. I have dark vision. Oh, do you? <laughs> no, I don't. No, you don't? Okay. Oh. I don't. This is like my first D&D character that doesn't have well, dark vision. Having dark vision is like having a Swiss army knife, bro. It's fucking universal. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not for the FF14 races. <laughs> nope. Yeah, I don't have dark vision either. Yep. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised Reaper doesn't get dark vision. Yeah, it's kind of surprising. That's like a bonus treat. Maybe, does I don't think Dark Knight did either. Does it say Mara uh, has dark vision? Out of curiosity. I would think the way. He does you have dark vision. Think. He does have dark vision. Okay. Yeah, buddy. So Mara <laughs> and Eren, uh, while everyone else is basically blind at the moment, uh, the two of you see, first of all, no signs of human life. I have a flashlight. You want to turn that on? Yes. Okay. You, all right, so everyone else can see the flashlight uh, wherever roll shines it. Um, it, has a, it has a check mark on it, so is it like a one-time use or what? It means it's equipped. Oh, you equip it then. There we go. So there are claw marks everywhere. A lot of the ship oh. machinery looks like it's been ripped apart and destroyed. A lot of the belts are broken. Mechanical arms lay shattered in various pieces. Different components lay dented and destroyed or scattered across the floor. Uh, an oh. office, kind of in one corner, has had its glass window shattered out, and the place is a ripped apart wreck. This looks like a chop shop, but we're shooting the right area, Aaron. Um. Aaron just ignores me. All right, cool. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, sure this place this looks like right a chop place? shop. Are you sure this is the right place? Uh, I don't know. I've never been here before. Uh, Mara and Aaron make perception checks, please. Anyone else is welcome to at disadvantage. Perception? Mm -hmm. 20 plus 4. Pretty sure I can't beat that. <laughs> Roll two fives. That's hilarious. 15. I'll try rolling it. Oh I'll try rolling it at, on, um, so I roll again. Oh, yeah, you said with okay. a damage? With anybody who doesn't have dark vision, disadvantage. Oh, well, okay, that's for that first roll. Perception rolls naturally, so do I just roll again? Yeah, I rolled a six. Just roll, yeah, do a straight yeah. roll. Oh, I'm fucking, per I'm proficient oh in fucking. Okay. So how do you roll at disadvantage? Uh, roll, just roll twice, twice and, and take, take the smaller one. Yeah, take the smaller one. Oh. Twice and smaller one. Okay. Okay, so okay, well, that first roll I did was Mara. Oh, oh my god, this is gonna suck. Okay, wait, that's not so bad. That's okay. not so bad. 17. Um, 
Mara and Adia <laughs> looking around that the room. That goes my nat 20 of the day. There are occasionally among the rubble, there are bones scattered about. Human bones. The oh. other thing you notice, and oh. Adia, you spot this actually, is some kind of mechanical humanoid body slumped in one corner. Oh. <laughs> As and the both of you notice and hear the sound <coughs> of some kind of movement in the building. The, there's something here. And there's definitely something here. Something alive? Yes. Something dangerous? Dangerous? Yeah. <laughs> Something like me? Potentially. <laughs> uh, given the robot corpse in the corner, I would be inclined to believe it's dangerous. I kind of like look over there. I was like, oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> <laughs> Good eyes. How, how the guy with dark vision not see it versus the lizard who probably has bad eyes? <laughs> I'm old. Leave me alone. How old? old. Yeah, 26 is old. Yeah, but 26 in dog years. 26 in dog years. Okay, Grandpa. I'm ancient. <laughs> I'm going to keep looking around. Okay. I'm going to try to watch our backs since they're saying there's something here. Let's see if I can catch anything. anything? Oh, God. It's Baku. <laughs> yeah, make a, make a perception roll with, uh, with advantage on the smell. On the smell. Nice. Because he's got advantage on any checks involving smell. Nat 20. There is... They make... I think it's on me to roll. I was like really confused. Oh, yeah. There's the distinct sound, uh, the smell of metal and blood. Like... Delicious. Old, old blood or new blood? M blood old. Metal new. Delicious. There's new metal? A certain level of <laughs> new metal. freshness and movement. Like... It's just been through there. Oh like, shit, it's on your left. <laughs> what the fuck? You see it just in time as a deranged mechanical body with four arms and blades everywhere jumps out at you. I would like everyone to roll initiative. <laughs> and with that roll, Aaron, you are not surprised. <laughs> Uh, exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Roll initiative. Oh. Roll initiative. Oh, are you fucking serious? 21? Come on. 22. Do the, do the I, I will use an app, the avatar token. It's a 5 d 20 and then plus your constitution? 21. Plus dex. Plus, right? dex. Uh, plus dex. dex. I don't have dex, so I'm just flat 10. 21. 21? Cohen, dang. Yeah, me and Cohen got 21. Nice. Who, who's, uh, 21. What's your deck scores, each of you? Uh, fucking two. Plus Wait, three. no. Plus two, yeah. Plus two. So Cohen goes first. That's good. Okay. But I want you to go first. You can buff me. I mean, if, if you <laughs> if you want to pick who goes first, I'll let you do that. <laughs> want me to go first, then? Yeah, so you can, yeah. so you can uh, draw. I was just sad that usually Adi or Aaron get the buff because they go after roll. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and get the roll out here for our adversary. Don't worry. We're the muscle. They're the speed. <laughs> true, true, true. Adi and Aaron be like, be throwing some hard-ass punches, dude. <laughs> they be hurting. Especially because Adi and Amara, too. So, Cohen, remind me what your, uh, your deck score is. It's plus three. Unfortunately, this thing is faster than all of you. Oh my god. Just barely. All right. Well, it goes first as this chrome colored humanoid figure face a skull, glowing purple eyes. Ignore the token. <laughs> Ignore token. <laughs> Uh, with four blade arms goes in to hit you twice, Aaron. 
General the, Grievous. Uh, the first attack is a 14 to hit. Which barely hits you. You take nine points of slashing damage. Yikes. As the first strike claws deep into your torso. The second strike is a total over 20. Yikes. And deals another eight points. <laughs> oh my god. That might not... Uh, as you watch, oh as my this, god. Aaron wasn't caught off guard, but is still ripped to ribbons by the claws of this mechanical construct. Yeah, you should probably do do the roll that way. You you have a 50-50 chance. Don't you get like a healing bonus? Yeah, but what? It's also gonna use its bonus action and attempt to punch you. <laughs> Holy fuck! Everybody wants Aaron dead. It hits. Oh, uh, fucking Aaron's gone. And yeah, it it just it Aaron drops as it just decks you in the face and your vision goes dark. No. Roll, you're up. Well, healer, do your job. <laughs> uh, fucking hell. That's a first level spell, though. I think that means everyone except for Roll has had to do uh, death save at least once. So, so don't you have, well, no, can't you draw? You have a 50 50 shot getting a healing bonus, and then you can heal him. No, yeah, you got healing burden to draw, which you can do in the same turn. So draw to try and get the healing bonus, and then yeah. heal him, obviously. Keep a game where this is at. It should be under features and traits. Yeah. So I'm using a draw. Oh, I don't have it. That's, built that's the wrong one. That would have been awesome, but that's not 20, but that's the wrong one. What was it, a 2, 4, or 6 for healing? I believe so. Two, four, six, healing, yeah, okay. Two, four, six, baby. That's Let me a double five. check, it's a five. <laughs> uh, so you're gonna do some damage at least. Yeah. <clears throat> so what happens is, put my hands together, I pull out, was it a five? I thought it would be a, the your. Should roll another, roll another D20. Because this still has to roll the hit. Does it? It does. It says it make you may use the card to make a ranged spell attack. Fuck eight. Uh, eight plus your spellcasting modifier. Eight plus my skill has casting modifier. So yeah, what's the what's your bonus to hit? I have no idea. Trying to help find it. No. Plus three. Plus. So it's plus five. So 13. <clears throat> which unfortunately does not hit. Where is that plus five? Uh, it's your wisdom bonus plus your proficiency. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Plus yeah, five. spell attack plus five. That's at the top of your spell tab. Oh, okay. I was looking at the wrong tab. Yeah. I... So yeah, roll pulls out. Well, it's supposed to be a light blue crystal. It dissolves, and it says shoots out of her hand, and she was really confused why I did that and missed. Uh, you still get the healing though. So... Or, or, or the draw rather. <laughs> well, so what was the draw? The draw was five. The f draw was five. Which was your? Which was your? Oh boy. So I can do I can do the attack and the draw at the same time, or I have to do one or the it's other. It's the same. It's the same. Yeah, you get both. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. I believe. You may use the card. Yeah. <clears throat> I thought it was just one or the other. That's why I was really like if you use it sometimes. That's what I'm trying. When you use me. Oh, I see. So yeah, you can either use the card to attack or. 
use the card to use its feature. Okay, I see. Okay. So yeah, that's why I figured that's... Templar, yeah. and then you are temporarily provide one level, one or two spell slot, maybe used for a level three. Oh, this but, is cool. Yeah, but I can't use... Cause I, can, I can only use that one, or I can use make the attack, and my attack missed. <laughs> you have a bonus action. So, seeing that whatever happened to my crystal <laughs> happened, I'm now going to cast... Which one was the bonus action? Healing Word? Yes. I'm going to cast Healing Word. Get out of here. <laughs> What'd you get? I rolled a 1, but it's a 4. So a total of 4 on Aaron. Okay. So... Um, yeah, total four. So Aaron's up, up and awake and at four hit points. <laughs> you feel ripped to shreds, Aaron, but you're alive. Why is it spicy? Uh, Lord, <laughs> you have your movement. <laughs> it's spicy. Why is it spicy? Why is it spicy? <laughs> um, I think Roll's going to sit where she's at because she's confused what just happened to her. Uh, okay. To what just Christmas. happened to Aaron? No, to what just happened to her crystal. She she pulled out a, a ewer, but instead of tossing it to somebody, it just shot out of her hand and tried to make an attack, but she missed it. Cohen, you're up. So now she's confused why that happened. If we win. <laughs> <laughs> just look just look up and you can find your answer. Alright, let's do this. Suplex. You can suplex the construct? Hell yeah. Just into the wall. Oh my All god. Right. Go for the Hell grapple. Hell yeah. Eric fucking Cohen said there is nothing I cannot suplex or grapple. <laughs> this is gonna fucking suplex a train next. Yeah, for real. Right? Deal extra damage. Alright. Uh. Attack. Uh. Unnatural 20. A natural grapple. 20. Oh, wait. Sorry. That's... That was an, that was an attack. Yeah. Well, it's still a plus five. Doesn't matter. I will say you can... You can it, you won't grapple it, but you can still suplex it into the wall for flavor. <laughs> wait. How big is this? It's, it's human. It's human sized. So it is medium size. Okay. So yeah, What's you... More or less just kind of grab this thing by the waist and just slam it up against the wall. Roll damage. Nice. <laughs> Damn. That wasn't damage. That's damage. Oh, right. that's damage. Okay. And just... <clears throat> the blades kind of bounce off against the, the, the stone and metal. <laughs> Ding! Just... <clears throat> <laughs> this almost spider-like ticking of metal clanging and claws flailing. It's doing a fucking lobster dance. It is fuck? doing a bit of a standing lobster dance at the moment. Crab ring. You still have your <laughs> bonus action, Cohen. <laughs> Suplex into the wall again. No. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna spend a key and do patient defense. Okay. Audio. Tactical. Oh god, that's me. <laughs> and Aaron, you're uh, um, fucking. <clears throat> oh, let me get into attack range. I'm gonna move over here. You have oh, a gonna... flanking position. I do. Fantastic. I'm gonna pull out the scythe. I'm gonna try to hit. <laughs> Attacks with advantage. Fuck yeah. Get that shit. Is, is, is it extra? Wait, wait, wait. You said he wasn't grappled. Never mind. <laughs> Like what? What? What if you had someone grappled and then someone's on to the side of them too? Like, is that like triple advantage? Nah. Oh, holy Five. crap! Yeah, you don't even need the second roll. Uh, the All second right. one just show up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, twenty. Yeah, that twenty hits. It's a crit. I'm gonna. Fuck. <clears throat> All right. 10 plus your strength modifier. Oh shit. My strength modifier. So plus three. So, so 13 damage. 
13 damage. Oh, because it crit, because it crit, right, yep. right, right. Yeah, so 13. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Come on, it's just a 1 3. Katsula, come on. I know, right? It shouldn't be this hard. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you slam it, you slam your scythe into it. You actually cut off one of the four arms in a single strike. Fantastic. <laughs> you still got Mara. All right, Mara's gonna go for it. You know, good old reliable. Where is Hey, 18 hits. The curse is broken. Fan Ted, the curse is broken, boys. The curse is not returned. Let's go, let's go. <clears throat> oh, fuck. <laughs> God uh. damn it. Hey, Ooh. Maybe it's not, maybe what? it's not broken. Three points of damage. Yeah. It's still damage. <laughs> And we, we we broke the curse of them not both hitting. We didn't say that they would both do big numbers. <laughs> I mean, listen, Adia got a nat twenty. The nat one was <laughs> fine. Uh, Aaron, you're up. You are prone on the ground currently. I have a potion, right? Do you? I have. Yeah, one. yeah, you did buy potions, didn't you? I, I have a potion of greater healing. All right. You gonna chug my, that? Yep. All right. You gonna chug it on the floor? <laughs> you don't. You don't trust my healing ability. <laughs> I need you hitting the shit out of this thing because I'm about to break its fucking back. All right. <laughs> Bonus action, potion Thank of you. healing. Oh, uh, okay. So that's four d four plus. Forty four plus four. <laughs> that's a lot of healing. Paid good money for those potions. So twelve. Dang. Yeah, that's. 16. There you go. Uh, <laughs> you shatter the crystal. This green powder covers your body and starts stitching your wounds. I'm glad you just did that on the floor. <laughs> Sometimes you can't even get up. When you get as old as I am, you just gotta lay there. Oh my god. <laughs> Where is this creature? Is this it? Yep. It reminds me of the Final Fantasy, uh, what the fuck is it, 15, when the guys use the Phoenix Downs when they're knocked out. They just roll oh, over, yeah. pull out a feather, and then <laughs> we get revived. <laughs> yup! Yeah. Pretty much! Uh, so I roll for attack? Uh, do you want to stand up first? Yes. Okay. Yes, stand up. Half your movement, you are no longer prone, and yes, you have advantage on the strike. So, roll 1d20? Yes. Uh, 2d20 takes a higher. Oh, 2d20. And is this a Hegan Mana? No, because I need to charge Sandy. You need to charge Sandy. Charge up your okay, Sandy. You have zero Sandy. He already, he already used the. Yeah, he used the bonus action yeah, for potion. Action. Okay, so, so 14 plus 5, 19 hits. Okay. And then I roll damage? Yes. Roll damage. That's a 1d10. No, 1d8 oh. plus. Oh, wait. 1d10 plus 3. Yeah, d10 plus 3. Whoops. Hmm. 8. 8 points. All right. I, like, <laughs> I stand back up and I, yeah, I strike the shit out of it. Just <laughs> like, yeah! <laughs> like, motherfucker! <laughs> the creature reacts, turns back to you, surprise your back up in the... Weird metallic talons start looking in your direction as we get back to its turn. It's it's gonna strike you once, Saren. What the fuck did you do to this thing? <laughs> I know, it hates you. Uh, natural three does not hit. <laughs> oh, I was like, natural twenty. I was like, oh, goodbye, Aaron. <laughs> you're good night, Aaron. Uh, now it's you're dead. Then gonna turn to Adia. It's like it's still facing oh, Aria, but one of the claws wheels back and strikes at Adia. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's the attack bonus on this thing again? I don't know. Uh oh. That's a ten. Oh. Oh, never mind. I just hit. <laughs> yeah, you both just parry it. It's like, what the fuck is this thing? <laughs> it also decides to blunt force claw on Cohen. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna try all three of them. <laughs> and gets a seven. 
This thing is a here. mad frenzy of claws and blades, and it's you're all just like dancing, ducking, and like what the fuck? This thing's a this thing can't hit shit. This is embarrassing. Roll, you're up. You're just watching this pathetic display unfold in front of you. I'm gonna do I'm my, I'm gonna do my sliver. Okay. That little bitch is only good at sneak attacks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is a twelve. The 12? Which is a fail. Yeah, it has a minus five to its intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, mind sliver. That's dagger. Uh, where the fuck did it go? So, yeah, mind sliver. Fucking two. Two. Ooh. It has uh, a minus to a d4 on its next saving throw, at least. You have a bonus action. So this time, roll. Putting her left hand down, uses her right hand and casts the spell of my sliver. Nice. And then yells, "All right, guys, beat the shit out of it." <laughs> Going. With pleasure. <laughs> With pleasure. Especially you, Aaron. I think you, I think you owe it a an ass beating of a lifetime. You have been told to give it the ass beating of a lifetime. Oh, uh, draw's not a bonus action until fucking. No, it's not. Dead rat, step away. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, you're good. You're up. I saw, I swear you guys were talking about roll. I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> yeah, roll's done. It's your turn, buddy. All right, let's. Uh... Until it's next turn, right? That's what it says. Flurry of blows. Until, yeah, until the end of its next turn. And after of your you next take, turn. Oh, your next After you take the attack action, your turn, then one key can make two unarmed strikes as bonus action. Okay. Three attacks! Alright, all right. so I'll, I'll attack once. Go for it. Fun is saving throw. Uh, 14. 14 hits! Oh, that's good. Just barely. Which does... 14 is his 18. I did 5 damage. Alright. And then Flurry of Blows. 22. Damn. Uh, the wow. third hit. Third one missed. So, another 5. Alright. Whack! Crack! You break off and leave another one of the arms hanging and limping. You go for the head for your third strike. You punch in the face. Ow! That is the most <laughs> solid piece of metal you've ever punched. <laughs> you were feeling yourself a little too much. <laughs> Got a little too excited. Like, calm down, Superman. You have movement if you want to go anywhere. No, I'm good. Warning. All right. Anya, well, you're up. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go back in with the fucking scythe, dude. All right. You have advantage still. You still oh, have. Oh shit! I have. Never mind. Just try again. No. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. It's not happening. All right, Adia goes for the strike. Actually, manages to get the tip of the scythe on the same part of the head Cohen just hit. He <laughs> sent a vibration back through the scythe through you. It's like, oh. That is, that is not a good thing. Yeah, that is solid. All right, Chucky and Mara's turn. 12. Mara gives you a look like, what the fuck? This is easy. D tries to dig your claw at the same spot. It's like scraping. You can hear the sound of scraping metal. Cover all of your ears for a moment. It's like, ow, it hurts. Mara stops, it's like, shakes her claw. So we need to hit it, anyway. <laughs> Got a new curse. Now it's all or nothing. Yeah, yeah now we've <laughs> all or either they both hit or neither of them hit. Do either of you want to move? Don't really have a reason to. Do I have any bonus action? Uh, Mara is the bonus action. Oh, right. Mara is the bonus action. Uh, okay, then yeah, I'm done. Aaron, you're up. Uh, charge send. He can bottom. All right. Roll attack. That's a hit. Total 20? <laughs> Hits. All right, time for a constitution saving throw. Good luck, little shit. <laughs> Good luck, roll shit. 
Minus three. Rolled shit. Oh, yeah. Minus three. Yeah, that is a three total then. Rolled shit. It is now under the effect of Higanbana. Something oh. bananas? Yes, my high end bananas. <laughs> high end bananas. My high end bananas. High damn bananas. Praise banana. Praise banana. Praise banana. banana. <laughs> All right. You just. All right, yeah, that's uh -oh. everything for you, Aaron. Uh, it's now its turn. Time for uh, vegan mono damage. It takes two points. Two points. Don't I roll the damage? Oh yeah, you do. Roll the damage. Uh -huh. If you roll a one, we'll take the two. <laughs> it should just be a D four. Get that shit. Deal two points of Higanvana damage. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, on its turn, and it can attempt to save at the end of each turn, right, for Higanvana? Yes, it has to spend an... Oh, spend an action, that's right. Yeah, spend an action to... Well, it's not that smart. It's just gonna live It's like gonna that. send a strike at Cohen. Higanvana? I don't even know her. <laughs> All right, and that comes out to a total of 19. Hit. <laughs> you take five points of slash damage. Are you okay, Cohen? <laughs> uh, I don't know, you might have lost an arm. <laughs> Just a flesh wound. It's gonna take its second strike back at Aaron. Damn, Aaron, you really pissed this thing off. That is another natural three on Aaron. Oh no, I'm in fight mode now, bitch. <laughs> uh, and it's gonna. Aaron's mad. It's gonna punch Mara. Wow. <laughs> and hit. That's a nat 19. Fucking punch the voice. <laughs> Dealing, uh, three points damage. <laughs> How do you punch a voice? <laughs> That's what I want to know. So yeah, one I mean... claw goes out. Rip. Tears into, tears into Cohen's shoulder, ripping down slightly. You can feel the pain pulsing in your shoulder. Aaron, the claw at you, just, you, you just parry that thing. You just ping, send it scraping into the floor. It turns around with its third hand, curls it up into a fist, and just decks Mara right in the face. Mara spits out nothing, turns to it, and just readies its fists. Uh, roll, you're up. Congrats on being like the first thing ever to have hit Mara at all. Right? <laughs> right? I was like, he's done what so many have failed to do. <laughs> I'm gonna like, look at Mara. I'm gonna look at everyone, make sure everyone looks like they're still in tip top form, sees that everyone is still in tip top form, <laughs> and says, All right, let's try this again. Puts her hands together, pulls it apart, and does a draw. Okay. <laughs> Fucking doing some Naruto hand jutsu or whatever that shit's called. No, she she literally just puts her hands together and then rips out. Like crystal forms? Yes. Nah, six roll. That's a six. You, someone's gonna get a the spire. Timber provides one non-spell slot resource to an ally. Give that to yourself. Yeah, I was like, look yeah, at the crystal. Yeah, look at the crystal. You or Adia. It's the only two people with spells. Uh, what color? What is well, non spell spire? slot resource. So, this is oh, key, send, or a draw. Oh, then, yeah. Oh. So, uh, it's good. you should give that to Raz because. I mean, I, I have used both Unless of my Costco's keys. Unless going to let me start stacking bleeds. Yeah. I, I have no more key. Oh, okay. So, she so. pulls out a yellow. Oh, not yellow, sorry. An orange crystal. Looks at Cohen, throws it. It breaks, and. Whatever feeling you had that you didn't have key is now gone. You feel that you have key now. Like, I don't know how do you feel. It's just, it's just one, right? One. It's just one, yeah. Okay. All right, one key point. Like, oh my god, so I can suddenly do this thing again. Yeah, like, wow. just, all of a sudden you have the strength to do another flurry of blows or whatever you need to do with it. Which is wow. convenient because I didn't happen to fill up the key spots on the chart. <laughs> Let's just start writing down these colors because I, I don't remember what the spire color is. 
I know the balance is red, the bull is green, and the arrow is like bluish. Blue, I don't know yeah. what the other ones are. Spire is, <clears throat> Spire is uh, yellow. Yellow, yeah. Oh, okay, then it's a yellow crystal then. Mm-hmm. All right. Anything for a bonus action? Which is which is funny because that's actually what I think key would look like is a yellow fucking energy. Uh, bonus action. Nope, no bonus action. Okay. Stand in the back. Cohen. We back to you. So if I were to shove it against the wall, would it do anything? Like, would it basically a trip or whatever? That's what I could do. But uh, I mean, I don't know what would tripping do for us. Break its arm. I mean, if you wanted to knock it prone, that would give everybody else the advantage. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll try and trip him. Okay. Uh... Then... What? Go ahead and make a make an athletics check. Oh, eight. Total eight. That was bad. <laughs> no, it's okay. You know what its total is? <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Oh, nice. oh, wait, it's acrobatics. Never mind, it's a nine. Uh, oh, Never mind, it's a nine. He does acrobatics. Uh, you go to sweep the leg, and it just puts down a claw right in front of your foot and blocks the trip. All right, well, I'll use that key, and I'll do fury blows. Okay, Two go attack. for it. Two attack. Oh, eight. Miss. Oh, my. Ten. Miss. Oh, uh, it, this thing is just, it has your number. Every punch you're going for, it's using its bone-like claws to just block every single punch. It just gives you this whirring. Yeah. Adia. Ah, oh, Jesus, me again. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Uh, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a fucking try to whack a damn bike on here. All right. I'm gonna try to smash that in again. We try again. Again. Oh my god. <laughs> you have a flank still, so you still have advantage. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that does not hit. Okay, bye. <laughs> Saw you. <laughs> <laughs> this thing, while well, it was a flurry of metal and arms before that was wildly doing nothing, now the flailing seems to be organized. Having analyzed your attacks, it's blocking every single possible movement. Every opening is covered. You can't seem to find a way in to get to its core. <sighs> it just basically, all right, so I hit it three times. Then you just tried to hit it twice. And then our, then... Mara just tried to hit it. That's six in a row. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Aaron, you're up. An attempt was made. An attempt was was made at the very least. And then Adia and Mara are just here to look pretty right now. <laughs> Pulling an Aaron from the last encounter. <laughs> <laughs> sure I had those rip that really good big hit, and oh. that was it. You still, you also have that flanking position. What does that mean? Uh, you have advantage. That means you're, you're advantage. Oh. you got advantage, you can roll again. Come on, at 20. Oh my god. God damn oh god. Wait, your bonus to hit is plus five, isn't it? Uh... Yeah, so that first one would turn into a, a 12, 13 which, or 12. Which, yeah, doesn't hit. It still doesn't hit. Damn, really? All of us missed? <laughs> Everyone <laughs> missed. <laughs> you have a bonus Wait. action still, Aaron. No, I do not miss. I would like to use the sword of possibilities passive. Roll oh again. My god. Yes. Oh my god. Use that I, luck. The second time I have to use this roll. Like I can't even if it was like Yeah That one will hit. Finally, somebody does something. <laughs> Alright. Uh roll damage, I guess. Yes, roll damage. D ten plus three. Plus three. Ten. Ten. Nice. 
you swing your blade wildly when it looks like the arm once again going for another parry another miraculous block your arms unnaturally shift downward and twist slightly barely slipping under this bone-like appendage and slashing into the core torso of this entity tearing off a massive chunk of the metal unveiling the crystal and wires underneath its core is exposed a glowing pulsing red and yellow heart Kalima, this shit. You have a bonus action <laughs> still, Aaron. If you uh, wanted to do a silly punch or a kick. A silly punch or a kick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, It'd be a flat d20 if you wanted to do it. Alright, let's, let's get a little crazy. Alright. Four. <laughs> you punch it. This time, <laughs> it goes it goes right back into blocking. Huh. Uh, it is now back to the entity's turn. It digs both attacks into you, Aaron, not appreciating the very incredible strike you got past its defenses. I have a simple question. Yes. How does dual wielding work? Uh, it requires the two weapon fighting. Uh, basically means that if you have two weapon fighting, you can make the bo that bonus action attack. And if you're holding two weapons, you it basically becomes another weapon attack. But do I lose the two-handed bow? Yes, you would go to one hand. I, so I roll for both weapons as if they were one hand? Yes. So it would be d8s instead of d10s for damage. But I get both of those d8s. Uh, yeah. Instead of okay. it being... Okay. And you would get all of your modifiers too, which is the biggest thing. Oh, I have two weapon fighting. Ah, so if you have another weapon out, then yeah, that would work. I have both my katana and the weapon. Ooh. There you go. Something to keep in mind, then. Yeah. So, right. one attack hits, the other misses. What is with the three on this die? I can't... I can't even... It's weighted. <laughs> it's weighted. It's weighted for three. You take another five points of slashing damage, Aaron. As it tears back into you and goes to deck you underneath the chin and fails spectacularly. You just... You, you lean back and it... <laughs> misses. Roll. You're up. Ah, oh, it also takes another D4, by the way. If you want to roll that. How lucky do I feel? We're not doing anything to this, and it's not doing anything to us. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's been a bit of a stalemate. We're at an impasse, I see. So... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to uh multi-class style it all over the thing i'm going to uh <laughs> sacred flame and try to aim for the heart okay dexterity saving throw correct uh well, yes that is an 11 that is a failure it's a fail hell yeah uh by the way <laughs> d4 aaron Oh, Keegan Bottom. 1d. One, one 1d4. One oh my lord. Well, no, damage no. is damage. It, it, <laughs> it doesn't yep, Damage, damage sure is damage. That's a fucking two. Eventually, eventually, Aaron's gonna roll a one on a Keegan Bottom and it's gonna kill it some, something. Yeah. Like, mark my words. I want it to happen. Alright, as the sacred flame starts heating up the metal, portions of it start melting and turning into this goop. This bright red hot. Slag. I'm gonna say fuck and then move over here. Okay. What is that? Do a little shimmy over there. Cohen. Fifteen feet. Yeah, you all go right. further well, if you want to. Since we all sucked before, I, I really do need to try and prone this guy. <laughs> Punch! Beat the shit out of him. All right, go for it. Give it the or hand. since he seems to be crippled or whatever, ah. Eh, it's of course exposed, its body somewhat melting, and it's missing two arms. Give it the more right. damage. Yeah, let's, <laughs> Snap let's, just try it. let's just see how much damage we could do. Okay. So, I'm going to, like, do a kick and a punch bonus act. 
Okay. Great. Fourteen. Fourteen hits at least. Alright. Does max damage seven. Let's go. Okay. The first the punch itself, blocked by the arms. You then twist yourself around and plant a spinning kick into its torso, slamming it against the wall. One of the a large nail that had been protruding out of it slams through its torso as it bounces off, scratching at the core slightly. <laughs> Fucking Aaron. Aria. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I want to take out a oh hand God. axe and try to stab it into the core. Roll an attack. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that'll hit. Roll a uh, roll hand axe damage. What's the hand axe again? D six. D six. Yeah. Plus four. Because your your strength is plus four, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait, shouldn't it be plus three? Wait, no. Plus three. No, it's plus three. Yeah. These Just kidding. Three. I, like to, I like to tell lies. <laughs> Five total. All right. It's the... It jams into the outer shell of the core. The crystal itself is cracked and damaged, but the spell components within still functional. It's not looking <clears throat> great. All right, Mara. The arms I believe are, in you. The arms are starting to slow down. Mara, I believe in you. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God. Mara is just giving you a thumbs up. <laughs> just standing there giving you two thumbs up. <sighs> just, just not even bothering. Yeah. Aaron. Uh, you got it under control, bestie. <laughs> You're up. I think I think that's why robot and his rigged our rules to be bad. By right. the way, uh, roll, roll one more d20 out of you, just for a lull. Uh oh, just for funsies. Okay, oh, good. To know. Uh, I roll a d20 now, right? Yes, if you want to attack. Unfortunately, that strike does not hit. Oh man. Do we As, still have advantage? It's actually yeah he does. Good point. Thank you for reminding me. Please. So you have yeah. There you go. There it oh. is. Okay. I got your back. I got your and back. Do you have both swords out now? Yes, I'm okay. wielding both blades. So yeah, D eight. D two D eight? One D eight. This is only the first hit. Wait, 1d8 plus... I know one's like plus three and one's like plus two. Uh, it, this... Wh which is your main hand? Blade of Possibility or the Katana? Blade of Possibility. So this would be plus three. So plus... This would be seven total. How do you want to do this? Yeah. There you uh, go. Uh, I will... Chop off its arms... And stab it through the heart. Okay. In one fluid twisting motion, you take your blades, lop off the arms, flip them around in your hands, and then just jam them into its core. It cracks and shatters completely. And the bo limp body falls to the ground, dead and defeated. It's about damn time somebody besides fucking Audi I gotta finish and blow. <laughs> and that is where we're going to leave it for now. Boy, oh boy. All this to fix your to fix Luna. All of this to fix Luna. Well, that was fun. Fucking hell. <laughs> that had many twists and turns in that one. <laughs> it did, it did. Indeed it did. Do we get the name of the shop or we just know this is the shop? This do you know this is the location? This is the right address. Okay, we just don't know the name of the shop. Yep. Regina sent us here to die. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. Is like Regina's trying to cut some loose ends now. Either yeah. that, either that, or house or twin. Uh, can I take the core of this robot? Uh, it is in a few pieces, but yes. Uh, yeah, sorry, I stabbed it. I mean, Aaron's yeah. finished shattering it. To be fair. Oh. So yeah, you can write down uh, Android.
uh, Shattered Core. Play with my crystal. That's what I'm use it next turn. <laughs> I wouldn't add that equipment. I'd put that in other possessions. Uh, it'd be... The inventory? That's inventory, where I put my... Yeah. Shattered. Floor. All right. We went 30 minutes over, too. Yeah, right? That, figured that <laughs> fight wasn't going to take a full hour. Oh, so, yeah, thank okay. you, everybody. Damn, we've never gone this late before. Usually, Castle has to work. Huh. I do have to work, but I've got enough time to get ready still. So, uh, on that <laughs> note, I'm going to go rest because i didn't get my nap time yes go get your nap time please <laughs> it's too late for my nap time thank you everybody I'll you can you can later. tell me that we didn't level up yet right uh correct no level yet uh <laughs> also uh, no game just... next week i will be out of town okay that's okay that gives me more time to um rest. prep because i i move where are you the moving day i'm moving to maine oh okay. i'm moving to a palm nice so that actually gives me more time to prep because I leave the next day. Oh, that's so. good. That's good. <sighs> that's I, I'm like, yeah, I was, was going to say, like, before you said that, that I probably would make it next week. I need time to get my life together. <laughs> oh, good. It gives me time to get some maps ready and whatnot. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Eventually we'll hit level three. I think level three is when I get in Shroud. I think it is, yeah. <laughs> I, don't I, get, I don't think I get anything at level three. We're, we're gonna circumvent the, the, the curse of them either oh, hitting or neither of them hitting by just fusing them together. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> all right, I'll catch you all later. Later. Bye. I would love to sit and BS more. However, I do have to get ready for my day job. So we're gonna go ahead and pass this torch along to somebody. Thank you everybody for being here, as always. Fantastic stuff. Uh, streams are going to be a bit sporadic this week because I have an altered work schedule. So it's going to be a lot of, you know, one in the afternoon, uh, streams, probably stream on Tuesday, probably stream on Thursday. And then that's probably it. Maybe I'll squeeze in something Sunday night. I'm going to turn this off now. Actually, that's way too loud. Um, so yeah, let's, let's see who can, we can raid really quickly here. So stream on Tuesday, stream on Thursday, and then no stream on Friday. That is, uh what you can expect for this next week and then it'll all be early streams 1 p.m let's see let's see Ooh, i haven't i haven't rated freya in a long time i haven't seen freya stream in a while let's 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 raid freya playing some disco elysium that sounds like a blast I'm, i actually kind of want to see what this is now <laughs> so yeah um thank you for watching everybody it again it's been a blast you're all amazing and uh Echoes will be back in two weeks. We'll see what happens with all this crazy mystery.